What, what, what was your favorite Cars movie, Sean? Cars two, I think. I, actually, you know, I, I do cars. like I do like Cars two had the hottest cars. Um. No, that was nuts. Ben, Zachary, how was your week, Ben? Uh, it was crazy, Zachary. How was your week? Um, you know, it's it's been one of those weeks where I look back on it and I really couldn't even tell you too much of what I did. You know what I mean? A lot of work stuff. I went to a concert. I did go to a concert. Can you say what concert you went to? Yeah, I took my girlfriend to see Rico Nasty. Never heard of him. Or her. At the, at the, it's, a, it's a her. It's a, she's a little aggressive hip-hop artist. She played at the Nile in Mesa, Arizona. Okay. And then I'm going to see death grips next week oh the one i'm annoyed and i and i and i'm that guy i'm that annoying guy why is that annoying um they're one of those fan bases that you see online a lot and people just make fun of for being like super very online you know what i mean very terminally online fan yeah. base yeah like me like the rick and morty fans of music oh that's worse know? than me <clears throat> yikes a little bit okay but i mean is, is the music good uh, people hate it. I, I like so, it. Okay. So here's what I, I find it. about the, and I Brooke, welcome to the regurgitated podcast episode 23, uh, brought to you by Zachary's comedic stylings. Um, <laughs> I want to talk about that. And Ben's, actually. Ben's hairdresser. If you want to look like that, am I pointing the right way on your screen? Uh, I'm not looking. No. Um, if you want to look like that, use uh, discount code vomit. At checkout for thirty uh, percent off. Can you spell vomit. Uh, v o m p. All right. Um, so I want to talk about fucking your you, you were you, you so death grips has the annoying fan base and people I think immediately think that'll be that us a, one day. What's a good way to so Undertale? You know, you know Undertale? Are you familiar? Uh, I know the memes. I don't really. I'm not familiar with the game. So Undertale. Is an, a great game. I've played. I've played probably like twenty five percent of it. I haven't actually played the game uh, that that in full. Um, I have a lot of friends who have. They say it's a great game. The music in it, as I've sent, I've. I mean, I've. Sent, we've used the music popular. for many. Yeah, we've used the, the 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 music for many shorts. Great music, great soundtrack. But its fan base is a bunch of people who do some like OC shit with it. Go way too hard. And I think when when you sent me, so Ben will oftentimes send me music to use for youtube shorts and he sent me a bunch of undertale music at one point and i think my very first reply was i think there's like 34 rules i have to use yeah, when i use yeah. this music or something like that yeah because that's the, the only thing i understand about undertale is the fans are are freaky little guys yeah so it's a lot freaky little guys when the game came out it was a lot of like middle school or maybe early high school people were obsessed with it um i kind of was not in that crowd i was like the game is probably fine. I don't know. Uh, grow, now, now growing up, I've played twenty five percent of the game. It was good enough. Like I, I wasn't for me, but I, the game seemed to be well put together. And I know that the, the people have a lot to say good things to say about that game. But it's one of those things where uh, it is so popular, and there's so there's there's a, the fan base is so much like that. The, the U.S. There's a weird assumption that you make that the game is bad, or like similar to Death Grips, where. It's such a terminally online like fan base or whatever yeah. that you assume that well, the they music also make is bad. Weird fucking music. Like they were one of the first bands. Well, I don't want to say the first bands because there's there's always something before a, a thing where you can trace it back to what its origins are, mm -hmm. right? But uh, like d d they make very in your face music. You know what I mean? It's yeah. very. Uh, yeah. I don't. I I don't even know how to describe it without looking it up. But it's very clearly like immediately either you're going to love it or hate it right you know what i mean yeah. so it, not only is their fan base very terminally online like constantly memeing like that type of annoying online fan base but the music itself if you're not like immediately into it it's garbage yeah it's like that type of band and you know? I, I mean i i find that in a lot of things like i mean rick and morty is like the the, the classic example of like a show that everybody loved until the wubba lubba dub dub fucking szechuan sauce shit happened that was the and jumping then, the shark moment and then everybody hated it Everybody said, I've never liked I'm Pickle Rick and Zach. Morty. What? I'm Pickle Zach. You're Pickle Zach? I'm I, Pickle Zach. I, I, so I watched, I think that was right before season three or season four, and I watched the season. It was great. I thought it was awesome, and I never watched Rick and Morty again. 
I mean, I, I yeah, Rick, Rick and Morty is one of those shows where it came out and it, it blew up and everyone I knew was talking about it. I don't think I've ever like sat down and watched a season of Rick and Morty, but every time an episode came on either at a friend's house or it just came on TV or I saw a clip, I was like, yeah, it's a good show. Funny enough. A, a, I don't really watch stuff that much anyways. Yeah. And B, it just, it was never like enough for me to like really get into yeah. it, but it was good. Yeah. I mean, was, from what I've seen, what were you talking about? Let's hop back into whatever you were talking about. Rick and Morty. Guys, we're a, we're a podcast. We're just two white guys on a podcast. We got opinions. Oh, we're going to go there. Don't you worry. Yeah. We talked about Rick and Morty. We talked about cancel culture. Oh, Joe Rogan, please. I'm saying Please. step off. You know what I mean? I have to say something. I'm going to say something and I'm going to mean it. What I'm going to say. What are you going to say? I was sitting in the car today, driving home. I'll tell you about my week. Uh, after telling you about the end of it, I was driving home and I was thinking to myself, man, why the fuck did we start a podcast when neither of us have any <laughs> following whatsoever? Nobody knows who we are. These are two nobodies. Yeah, pod, po- podcasts are, are you're, you're absolutely right. Podcasts are mostly for people that have a following yeah. and just kind of offer a conversation yep. to someone you know. I think it is doable to start a brand like as a podcast. Like I think that's happened before, number one. Number two, I think that certain platforms are like d- discovery for podcasts is shit, right? Like if you go on Spotify, like you have to seek out whatever podcast yeah. you look for. Yep. There's no way to just discover new podcasts unless you're on Reddit or an influencer you already know starts a new one. Yep. But I think that's changing a little bit. I think YouTube rolling out that podcast feature, I don't think it's good right now, but I think it's a interesting step that they're starting to categorize those podcasts because if youtube could create a platform where they provide discoverability for podcasts i think they win yeah like like uh, they because they have the video content on there and they have the the best search engine in the world if they could just find a way to get new podcasts discovered on their platform why would i ever why would I ever go anywhere else? Like as a podcaster, you know what I mean? Yeah, just I mean, uploading on Spotify is not finding me new people. Definitely not. I could tell you, I, yeah. I listened to, but I listened to actually the entirety of the last podcast uh, on the way home. Uh, working on that. Yeah. Um, and I mean, I'm like, I, the audio podcast is an interesting thing. Um, only because well, nobody, we don't, we don't get any viewers on it. First of all, I mean, that's just, have you checked Anchor? I'm assuming it's nothing, yeah, no, but have you nothing. checked? Zilch. Okay. Nothing. Um, don't hack us, bro. I know I just said our platform yeah. that we use, but don't don't dox me, bro. Uh, don't we, dox him, uh, really. I use, yeah, I think we use my email for the Anchor anyway. Um, but it's interesting. It's inter- let me try that again. It's an interesting thing because the... I don't know. I mean, it's great for car rides, an audio podcast, but I feel like if YouTube made a, a way to provide, because are we the only people that do video and audio like sl- edited separately, like differently? I'm sure not. I'm sure that happens somewhere, but I'm not like for me. I don't watch much podcasts or I, listen to I, many I, podcasts. But, I listen to like two or three. So I don't, I don't point, know. Yeah. I mean, point is like if they had a, a, a spot for audio podcast, audio podcast specifically, by Spotify, that shit's going nowhere. Like, and uh, uh, you know what I mean. Like that, everybody uses YouTube. YouTube has the be- you, like you said, best search engine. There'd be no, there'd be no point to upload anywhere else. I mean, whatever. But um, yeah, I, don't know. I, I think I think the interesting thing about that for me is again, I, I said like if YouTube can provide discoverability, right? It's like Twitch. If you start streaming on Twitch and no one knows you, no one's going to fucking click on your stream. It's really hard to start from nothing on a platform like Twitch because they don't invest in discoverability. The same thing is the case for like every single podcast platform out there, Mm -hmm. which is why I think YouTube is different. I think YouTube understands discoverability better than any other platform. I think they've been out much longer. But the interesting thing about that is... I don't know many people aside from Tristan that subscribe to YouTube music, number one. And number two, Spotify and Apple music reach out to podcasts to do deals, right? Like they did the Joe Rogan deal where he got, I don't even know how much money, but a stupid amount of money to do their podcast on their platform. Last podcast on the left that I listened to had a similar deal. I think they got out of it um, at some point earlier this year. But I, I, I don't think YouTube's ever like done a deal with like an influencer. You know what I mean? And I think, it would be interesting in that scenario to see is just 
allowing new creators to get discovered enough for people to move their money over to YouTube music? Or is Apple Music and Spotify just going to buy up the big names and just kind of monopolize that? So, I don't know. So I want to I want to clarify what you said just a little bit, because they definitely have done deals with influencers. I don't know about specifically for podcasts, though. What deals have they done with um, influencers on oh, YouTube? They, That's not like a branded sponsorship or like a YouTube rewind type deal or something oh, like no, that. They, they like they, they sign uh, exclusivity deals with with like Twitch streamers and stuff where they, they move over to YouTube. Oh, yeah. I think I vaguely remember who Ludwig Ninja Ninja signed something with Xbox, right? With Mixer. Yeah. Ninja yeah. signed like an yeah, the Mixer thing. I, I'm sorry. I, not only do I not watch Twitch, I don't play Fortnite. Off the, off the top I'm not, of my, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not 12 anymore. Thank dude, you. Mixer died. I'm like, he got a bag. Yeah, no one used it. He got a bag and then the mixer died a year later. That's fucking crazy. He, but he's like in the in the NFL when you're like a veteran quarterback, you know what I mean? And you sign on to a team yeah. that like drafts someone that year. It's like I just got paid a shit ton of money to yep. sit here and be a backup. Yeah. You know? Yep. And That's the dream life. Yeah. Yeah. Well get all fat. <laughs> Fuck yeah, there. dude. Um, you just start rubbing tummies. I'm a dude. I'm a, I'm a little bit of a tummy rubber. I'm a belly barger. You could We've say. We've seen you rub some bellies, dude. Rub some bellies. Um, yeah, but they, they sign exclusivity deals. They probably do that with uh, over time with the YouTube uh, channels. I think that they, I don't think it's as publicized, but now that I'm thinking about it, I think they do do that. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm sure there's a lot of behind the scenes stuff, right? Like, I know that YouTube highlights certain creators. I know that they like partner with creators to do like projects and stuff like that. I just don't think, I, I mean, because honestly, what com competition even is there with YouTube, right? Like, I'll, I'll sign an exclusivity deal with YouTube so you don't go where? Your own website, maybe? Rumble, well, if you're well, all right. Well, like, well, I, I don't, for, for, are you talking about for, for podcast specifically? Just YouTube content, just YouTube content in general. Oh yeah, I mean, it's, podcasts. That's, that's I know. Like, I brought that up. That's why it's like streamers get it because YouTube. Nobody wants to fucking stream on YouTube unless you're paid to do so, like <laughs> paid significantly to do so. Because YouTube yeah. streaming sucks. It has. I gotta say, YouTube streaming has like the an incredible setup, but it is too just mixed in with normal YouTube content. And I think that is yeah. to, a, to a negative degree, but that's just my opinion. And I think too, you know, and this is a counterpoint to what I was saying about why I'm excited about the future of podcasts on YouTube. When it comes to live streams, I think the discovery on YouTube is still kind of shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, like 100%. unless you're ranking for a search term or you're super invested in a creator, I have, I, I don't know. Cause I feel like there are interesting live streams on YouTube that I've seen other people talk about or that have, I've, I've randomly caught a rare glimpse of, but, and I know they have like a live stream section and I, it, it, there's a fine line here, right? Because I, you're right. I don't want it mixed in with all of the standard YouTube content, just like how when YouTube shorts first came out and you looked at someone's YouTube channel, it was just a wall of shorts that you had to sift through to find a video that looked awful. Mm -hmm. Um, I know that they still have that separated now, but your point remains. I don't want them too mixed in. But if there was some kind of platform where I could just almost like TikTok live, where I could scroll through a feed and just kind of like get glimpses of the pot of yep. the live stream itself see if you're interested. without yeah. necessarily clicking on it. I, I don't know. I, I wish it's weird because obviously TikTok has consumed. It's like, I don't want to say brainwashing, but it's brain rotting tons of people. Right. But I do kind of prefer that method of discovery personally. Like I like to see what the content is immediately and just make my determination as to if, if it's interesting or not. Yeah, I mean, that's, that, that's what both what causes the discoverability like that. that that's what blo has blown up people's careers, but also caused brain rot. That's like, that's like, yeah. the, it's like a, it's like a double one or whatever. I saw like a tweet. Okay. Just one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> actually, I have, I have something to say about Twitter after this, though. Mm -hmm. um, but um, I, I may, not, may not have even been a tweet, but I saw something online um, recently and I'm forgetting what it is because I went on to I, my bit ended up screwing me over. Really? What were we talking about? Uh, TikTok discoverability. Oh, yes. Uh, someone someone had put it out there in the universe that um they were thankful for the TikTok generation because um, no longer do you have to sift through a lot of bullshit to get to the point, right? 
like if you looked up a recipe online five years ago, it would be like, oh, um, this is my great grandma's key lime pie. I she used to make this on the farm. You know what I mean? They'd like fill up the 10 minutes on YouTube or give you their whole backstory and yeah. provide so much unnecessary context versus yeah. on TikTok. It's like, boom, you have your information right here and right now. I it, It's weird. I don't know how I feel about that, because on, on one hand, I feel like the spreading of information that quickly can be a little dangerous. But number two, I much prefer to consume content that way. Yeah. I'm very like, I have goldfish brain. You know what I mean? Like you do need to get it through to me. Like you need to get the point to me immediately. So I, I use TikTok for about a year. Eh, maybe less. And to be honest, um, it bores the fuck out of me now. And I think that's maybe it's because of my for you page, but uh, I, I mostly only use it to look up videos to send to Alexis specifically to make her laugh. And to like our videos. I see it. And yes. And I, and, I, and I like our videos as much as I can. But I don't really open the app that much. Um, I, I don't want to, I know you're, you're talking. I don't know what to do about, I don't know if we've been like, I don't want to complain too much because I think our content could be better. So I'm not saying that we're getting fucked over, but I don't get my, our our content anymore. My personal TikTok feed, I think it just never comes up and it used to come up every day. So I don't know what that is. We're shadow banned, dude. Yeah. I mean, we keep getting capped at a certain view count too, which is weird. And maybe that's just a general, like TikTok feeds that many views to see if it's good enough. And we're just never good enough. But, um, I don't know. It feels weird. It feels weird, man. Yeah, it, it definitely feels weird. Um, you were saying something. I'm sorry. No, yeah, no, it's just I am definitely more of a longer form. Like I think that I have not. I think I had a goldfish brain when I was using TikTok. I mean, I got off TikTok because I got bored, and then I went went back to like just long longer form videos. I used to watch what? fucking dude. We've talked about this before. I used to watch so much Rooster Teeth. I made a whole YouTube channel that was basically an, my, my personal emulation of Rooster Teeth. I think Rooster we all Teeth. did. Yeah. I think you and I both, let's not talk about that too much on me because I'm in, I'm in, I'm ashamed of what some of that stuff was. Oh, yeah. But you're much more brave with putting that out there than I am. I'm not, no. Dude, I used to watch but your like point remains. Hour, two hour long Let's Plays just, you know, all the time. All the time. And I would, I would oh. be, I would be just sitting there like, that's just like watching. Just I'll take that back. If I'm if if I'm doing work or if I'm playing a game by myself, I will put on. Uh, God, I'm so fuck. I'm such a fucking twenty something white dude. I'll put on like the two hour long video essays about some random ass topic, some random yeah. Yeah. little like detail. I love those video essays, man. Yeah, and I I know I I know how this sounds. I've been watching a lot of iceberg videos recently. Oh yikes! Do you know what I'm talking about? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, I've what, been watching what, what a lot of iceberg, iceberg videos. videos. Specifically. Um, there was a video by Parallel Pipes called uh, the Rabbit Hole Iceberg. Um, that was interesting because it's like icebergs within icebergs, yeah. right? It's like, yeah. like it, it's an iceberg of topics to spend way too much more time looking into. Yeah. Um, he has a few other good videos. He's a he's a good YouTube channel. Um, I, I'm really into like the weird kind of like true crimey type stuff right like i love last mm-hmm. podcast on the left parallel pipes wendigoon um shoot um i like lost shoot. media shit <laughs> too fuck? i like blame it on I, I, I apologize here i think i've heard some people say his name is blame it on jorge but either blame it on jorge or blame it on george um there's a few other lost media youtubers out there I, I don't know why this past year i've just dug deep into like true crime online mysteries mm. and um like lost media content yeah i'm i'm I like the uh, more mindless shit, as you probably could guess. I'm more of like a watch a, you know, just watch someone make content, not someone to tell me a story. Most of the time, most of the time, sometimes I'm in, the, in a very specific mood. But like, if I'm working, I don't want to think about anything other than work. I want to be able to like uh, be like, did it, did it, did it, I, I Ba-da-da-ba. hold on. Your friend's saying he needs to be sober to hop in here. That's not true. Um, <laughs> but um, I will say maybe you're on to something, Ben, because when I'm working and I'm watching like one of those video essays or iceberg videos or uh, just some kind of long video where they're having some intricate topic explained to me, I find myself oftentimes like pausing my work for 15 minutes to like pay attention to the video. And I'm like, oh, shit, yeah. I should have been doing yeah. that. Yeah. Um, th- thankfully, I've not had a ton to do at work this week, but I, that happened to me 
both Thursday and Friday where I had those, it was the iceberg videos uh, and they're doing, he does the stupid Minecraft death run footage over the um, iceberg. Do you know what I'm talking about? Minecraft death run. The like the you ever parkour? seen like the kind of it's like part yeah it is Minecraft parkour. There's just a specific game type where it has specific rule okay, sets okay. applied to it yeah. called Minecraft Death Run. I don't even play it. I haven't touched Minecraft in like eight years, but I love the video itself. But he uses the Minecraft Death Run footage like over it, and I just hate that I'm at work with like Minecraft stuff playing yeah. for hours because yeah. it makes me look like I'm a fucking child. Dude, but, I'm, on this? but like really, I'm learning about like ancient civilizations you know what i yeah. mean oh, like yeah. thoughts on this though thoughts on this zach put minecraft death run footage below here that's a great idea uh thoughts on this zach hear me out thoughts on this zach minecraft, minecraft let's play regurgitated edition all right good game <laughs> see I, I thought we've talked about doing some video game content before i just think a let's plays are definitely out of style right now yep. and i think b i don't want to deviate too much from like what we do on this channel right oh, like getting one, a gaming I, audience I don't mean, is I don't, different from this i don't mean let's play as in a series i just meant like a one-off like stupid ass shitty video where i reteach you minecraft for 30 minutes i don't know yeah, just, that could be a part of the the new show it, that's we need what to i was kind of thinking still. too um would be it would be a cute idea but whatever uh, we can we can we can pork chop it. Um, we okay. can pork chop it. We can pork chop it. Um, so I wanted to, after that conversation about algorithms and shit. Holy fuck! What a good way to start a podcast. That's Wait. that's what I call discoverability. What? Yeah. Well, I mean, we kind of started it off. Yeah. Dick it around, but I know you're going to say something. I know you have a point to get to, but we've gone on too long without getting an update on your hair. I'm sorry. What's what's cool. going on here now? What about the picture you sent me in Discord? That looked way worse than what I'm looking at right now. Was that just bad lighting? What happened there? Uh, yeah, I was on the I was on Poconos Mountain, one of the Poconos Mountains. The Poconos Mountain. Yep. Mount Mountain. I was on. I was at Big Poconos, Poconos State Poconos. Park for that picture, and the light was shining right on my head, and it was so uneven. And it looked, yeah, like you said, it looked like I had like a a a pen in my hand or like a broken pen in my hand when I was washing my hair or something. Like it, I heard, if you I heard if you lie on top of the Poconos, the peak grows bigger. Just because my nose is big? No, no. It's like, um, do you know Pinocchio the doll? Yeah. Oh, why? Well, like, like tell Miss, like tell uh, Miss Truth. I thought you meant like, like lay fib. down. Like I thought fibber. you meant lay down. I was like, oh, maybe because oh. my nose is big. Got it. Okay, I got it. I mean, that would be true too. Yeah, it would be. It would be true. It would be true. Um. So the hair, yeah, the hair's fucked up. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I buzzed it. I, I, I. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Um, am I Joe Biden? Because you're come on all yeah. over that hair ass hair ass. I do have a hairy ass too. So nailed it. Nailed it. High five. Yeah. I, um, I, I shave cause I'm kinky. Shave your ass. We need, we can move on. Okay. Um, so one day someone, I don't want to watch this. will watch this last episode. I had hair. I have a thing called trichotillomania, if you don't know. And I have GERD and autism. Um, so I, I, if you can tell, I, 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 I pull my hair here. So I was like, I need to stop doing that. I, it looks worse with longer hair. So I just buzzed it myself. I just buzzed it myself. All of it off. What, uh, if, and you I, I completely bald? what if you did the bald look? It doesn't look good on me. I mean, it, it, mm. I, as if this does. See, the but. issue, I have gamer head. Like, I yeah. for sure have a little tiny divot that's right there I, in my head from wearing headphones. Yeah. I, I hate, when I get older, if I lose hair, like if I have to go bald, bald, God. Yep. My consequences, all my years of gaming and yep. video editing and doing yep. things on websites, maybe I shouldn't do. Omegle, yeah. Or I'll catch up to me. I love catch up. And I'll pay... I'll pay for my consequences. I'll reap what I sow. Oh yeah, that, that's why. That's exactly because I I'm getting I was getting eczema around my ears and I was getting the divot and I'm like I'm good. Do you have eczema is a thing that like you're born with, right? Like eczema is a thing no, that like you can get stress based eczema. Like it, it it's all it's. But that's still something like there's some people that just never have eczema no matter what. Yeah, yeah and then there's people that are yeah. predisposed to yeah. predisposed predisposed predisposed. Pre -disposed. Is, disposed means to get rid of pre. Before get, you get rid of it, I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea uh, why maybe, it's called maybe that. Maybe it just maybe it just sounds like that, and it's a different word. I'm very smart. Um, can you tell I'm a little bit on edge today? You gonna punch me? 
I wish. Um, yeah, but I thought eczema was one of those things that like, if you have it, it's like it gets flared up by certain things. And if you don't have it, you just don't have it. I don't it. know. I, I know that like I have a friend. I don't know. I'm not going to name drop, but uh, but uh, he got eczema due to work stress and he never had it mm. prior. I got it out of nowhere when I was like 12. So I, I was predisposed or whatever you want to call it. Um, and I, I have it on, I'm mostly on my head and I, I sometimes I get it flare ups up here. Um, I actually have it right here. Um, uh, but I, I would, I would get it from the headphones. I'd get it around my ears cause all the oils and shit from hair and like, you know, sweat and all Dude, that. Dude, I need to replace these Corsair headphones at a certain point. Cause they're like, the stitching is like ripping on the inside. Yeah. It's like, yeah, that's, that's when you need to, old. that's when you need to yeah, tra- the trash it and get new ones. Um, yeah. anyway, um, your hair's fucked up. I buzzed it myself. And then I, I looked infected after we recorded that episode. We recorded uh, the shorts, the seven shorts, seven weeks oh, yeah, of shorts. Yeah, you've seen those now. Yep, yep. We've seen you've seen th- three of them at the point that this releases. Four of them at this mm-hmm. point. Re- four, four of them. Um, you've seen. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right now, there's two. There's going to be four when we release this. Um, but I was wearing a hat because I looked infected, and I still kind of look infected, but not. It's not as bad. It's a little. The YouTube shorts comments won't be that flattering to you yeah no i can promise you that definitely not the shorts they're an interesting experiment i'm happy we're doing them i think they're working out well the first one did super well despite it getting hated the second one had a lot of engagement to it but the views just tapered off immediately so i'm very curious how that how that pans out and how people like it but i like having a lot of variety of original content on here um yeah i was wearing a hat because i looked infected so well you are i'm not now so aids um anyway no, 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 no. so that yeah that happened uh and then what's funny is alexis and i uh, made plans to go to upstate new york and look at houses oh my goodness so that's what i've been doing oh all yeah week. weren't you supposed to like move already yeah oh yeah i was supposed to move like you three, have the money three, for three, it? Four times. yeah um definitely Def- like I'm, if you have the like if you found the place right now you could you could pull the trigger yeah i i could pull the trigger tonight and i might the only thing preventing me from picking up the revolver that I keep cocked and loaded on my nightstand dresser is Pokemon. So, yeah. So, we uh, we went to look at houses. No Nova for you? Nova? Northern Virginia? Oh, no. Uh, there, there are a lot of places I want to look, but this time we looked at upstate New York. We could have a whole group. Well, you're not going to be there. It's just a cardboard box under a bridge. Yeah, but I would have every reason to. Okay, but I'd have every reason to. Ben. Okay, fair enough. I'll Anyways, that, I'll he's re- moving to Canada Light. Yeah, essentially, the Finger Lakes. Uh, we went there. Very nice place. I like him a lot. Um, but so I drove for thirty three hours this past week. Oh and, wow! Uh, like a lot of miles. I don't know how many. A lot of miles. Um, I drove for thirty three hours last week. Ten miles. You're driving very, very, very. Damn! I just. Almost out of gas. I mean, what can uh, I say? <laughs> um, yeah, so 33 hours of driving. Uh, we went, we, we saw a few houses. Um, only one caught our eye. Um, Are you going to buy a house? It, we're renting for, at, for, at oh, okay. up front. But um, yeah, it's uh, it's definitely interesting. And I, I didn't realize, I, I, I kind of fucked up having infected hair. Uh, going up there. Oh, because they're not trying to rent to you. They're like, they're like interviewing you as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Maybe you should have wore your hat, buddy. I brought it and I forgot it in the car uh, each time. So point is, point each is, time. They, it, it went fine. They didn't give a shit. Uh, actually, one one person, one patron of the bed and breakfast I was at. Uh, I wish I was a patron. Said, said uh, she liked my hair because it matched my sweatshirt. And I said, well, there you go. Sick. Um literally i am sick please I have, help me i i need i need assistance i need medical i don't know i do not know where i am dude i went i we went to uh, upstate new york we saw niagara falls what the heck yeah we went all the way up niagara falls we saw the poconos up there we saw we, we were on the uh, the finger lakes we saw uh we, we 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 had a beautiful view of seneca lake and it looked like a picture it was great that's um, where the civil rights protests were, right? That's where the civil rights protests were. Um, it was phenomenal. I am exhausted. I am fucking exhausted. I drove, yeah, like what, 33 hours? The, the first two days, I drove eight hours a piece. 
like in, in, in a, a, a criminal amount of driving. And I had driven four hours today and I, and I'm, I'm home. Finally, I feel great. We got a lot done. Um, it's just that upstate New York, uh, there, it's uh, sparse. Not a lot of it it's is sparse. Good. There's sparks, so especially, it's sparks. especially, especially during um, like uh, like uh, New Year's. A lot of sparklers. Um, that was a good joke. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Yep. I was thinking, I was, I was, I was channeling your outhouse joke from last episode. What was my outhouse joke? Uh, uh, let's start a new, uh, a, a new slaughterhouse, but with Andre 3000 or something like that. It's called outhouse. I don't remember. Oh um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cause outcast yep. slaughterhouse. Yep. And then it sounds like yep. you're taking a yep. shit. Yep. Fantastic. Um, cause Joe button shits himself. Um, Hey, subscribe to the channel. Everybody. everybody. That's what, that's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. Uh, it is there it's it's there's not a lot of uh upstate new york that is inexpensive and the inexpensive pieces that uh are not dangerous are sparse so we had to kind of we we only looked at name a part of america now that's houses. not crazy expensive that's not like center of the country pennsylvania no oh, okay fair enough that's and uh, that's might be where we're looking next but we'll see um I like Pennsylvania. I've I, I had to drive through it. That's how I got to the Poconos, and it was great. Um, but a lot it of great. it, a lot of it is also kind of iffy. So we'll see. Um, how often do you go to Rhode Island? I used to go there uh, once a year when I was a kid. We went to one of the beaches, but I haven't been there in years. Why? I saw a guy got a lobster roll in Rhode Island, and I was like, I wonder if Ben went there. I've gotten lobster rolls in Rhode Island, so it's possible. Wait, Sick. wait. Oh, thank you. We need, yeah, we need something for the thumbnail. Um, and I have a, I, 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 I said that I had a fear of driving episode 21 and I said it to Tristan and Tristan was like, why do you have a fear of driving or whatever? And I love Tristan, by the way, I love him so much. Um, such a nice, genuine guy. Can't get enough of him. Um, Tristan, if you're watching this, Jesus Christ, I'm sneezing all over the place. Cry. Tristan, Tristan, if you're watching this, we are not changing the podcast recording times to avoid you. We love you. Is she not available these days or are you just being funny? I don't know. I have no oh. clue what his schedule is like, but we never told anyone we were changing the day. That so. is true. Um, and I, well, we never told anybody that it was going to be Friday anyway, so we didn't really change the day on anyone because I didn't make the event in Discord. Cause that's, yep. that, that's where we recorded it. Anyway, um, uh, my fear of driving has gotten my anxiety has gotten a lot better now driving. So if you ever go to Boston, I'll just go there. I'll drive. No train needed. Oh, so you, you so you feel better about driving? Yep. Boston's a bad place to drive, though. Why would you tell me that? Because it's true. It's like one of the worst places you could possibly drive in the U.S. Well, I think Massachusetts but- in general is just bad, right? Um, I, guess, I mean, obviously whatever. it was all, it was, I mean, yes, they're jerks and it was mostly built before cars, but Boston, not only is there a ton of traffic, like people that live there don't own cars, um, very pedestrian heavy. One of the few like genuinely walkable cities in the U S the, the, the people are jerks. As you said, it's just a confusing city to navigate. Like the streets just don't make sense. Yeah. There's streets that are incredibly steep and, um, roundabouts that lead to nowhere very annoying wanna, but if i'm staying with my grandparents that's outside of boston so i'm sure you could pull up want to want to go to pax east and crash pax east together as a regurgitated duo i would need more information about that i haven't heard of pax east in so not? long oh okay i was like i was no i've heard of it yeah. but like it's been such a long time since i've heard anything about pax evan and i were supposed to go in like 2017 or something like that or 2018 and we never went because uh, didn't want to deal with the, the I, I think I don't think I had a job at that point even. Um, so, mm. but that would be fun. Uh, the regurgitated boys take on PAX East. That'd be great. Uh, anyway, um, spoiler for future content. Maybe, um, there's so many things we talk about that we never do. Right. Um, but we're going to do them. Nope. So, good so, cop, bad cop. Good Give cop. us what we want. Good bop, bye bye. Um, 
I'm so sorry. What happened? Did anything fun happen to you this week, Zach, for you, or you were just work busy and all that shit? Um, well, last weekend I took my girlfriend to a resort too. Okay, copycat. What the hell? We went down to Tucson to Tuscan, Arizona, and we went to the El Conquistador Resort. They gave me free drinks. It's pretty cool. The only, you know, what's funny when I think of Tucson, for some reason there was there was some uh, uh, politician that was shot and I think shot and killed there. Yeah, Kathy Kathy Giffords. I don't know, but that's all I think, I think of when I think her. of Tucson. And she's she's the husband of Mark Kelly, the astronaut who's now a senator. She's the husband of Mark Kelly. Or she's the wife of Mark Kelly, okay. who's an astronaut turned politician, current senator of the state of she, Arizona. Did she, did she get killed there? No, she's alive. Okay. I, I couldn't, I couldn't, I didn't. I, she got shot in the head. Damn, she she lived and it? lived. Yeah. What is some, that's some 50 cent shit, bro. He got shot like three times in the face, didn't he? What was it get rich or die trying? But fix American politics or die trying? bro that shit's crazy did you know did you ever see the guy i mean if you've watched true crime there was a jcs video of a no was it jcs might have been explore with us it was of a guy who got his house raided and they thought that he killed his uh his mom or something like that that was because your mom was his mom was dead on the couch and he he had like a bloody nose essentially and he was kind of just like walking around his house and the cops were like bro you killed your mom and he's and he's like, I just want to go to bed. Just let me go to sleep. Let me go to sleep. And he's like, clearly like, like hereditary, exa- exactly like it. Hey, but he's like, he's like, I, so I, someone did it in real life. Kind of. Okay, so what happened <laughs> was these people, people came in, and they and they they tried to they, for some reason they were killed. I think it was his, his mom and him. And then he he got shot through his nose. No, I was up his up into his brain, and it uh, and it and it gave it, him a lobotomy, and it didn't kill him. He he succumbed to he succ- and ended up having like a bunch of seizures and problems and dying. But he was literally like brain damage, walk roaming around his house, not knowing what was going on, just wanting to go to sleep and not knowing how for days before the cops got there. I think I vaguely heard something about this. It's horrifying you, to think about. It's horrifying. Have you to ever think about. seen the X-ray of the guy that had a metal rod through his skull? No. He like lived too. Like apparently, like um, I, I actually don't know the full story. I read it somewhere. Read it. That's a website. That's a website. Um, but th- there's an image of a guy with a metal rod through his head, uh, an, an X-ray image, and um, supposedly the story goes he lived. Like he got hit with it and like walked up and didn't feel it for a bit, and everyone was just looking at him like, bro. I thought I saw something. I, I think A and E years ago of a guy. You know those? Oh, uh, they're like the. the like gates for cars that'll that'll like close and open when you can drive in and they'll close after like like a gated neighborhood type thing yeah but it was more for like a trail i think and he was, oh, okay. it was like it was like a, a side road that you can go on but it, a gate i think you're talking about a gate talking about a gate i just didn't know i don't know if there's a specific name for it but he apparently he ran into one it went through the car and into his stomach and he didn't even feel it mm adrenaline is a crazy fake. drug man it could also just be a fake story it was on a it was on t- like actual tv so there's a good chance a thousand ways to die yeah before i moved out to arizona i watched a, a thousand ways to die episode where a guy in arizona like went to check on a noise outside and he put on his shoe in the middle of the night and inside his shoe was hiding one of the most deadly scorpions in the world and it stung him and he died and i watched that like a week before i went to arizona i watched I'll always look in my shoe and in a one thousand day, days what a thousand ways to die episode. There was a guy who was getting uh, drunk on gasoline and then he puked uh, gasoline into a fire and died. Well, that's one way to go, huh? I don't know if it was true. And then there was a guy who was uh, cooking a turkey, boiling a turkey and the turkey like popped or something. And the, the, the metal, the metal uh, 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 top came up and hit his nose, broke his nose, shot something into his brain. and He died. Yeah, the he was deep frying a turkey. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, the deep frying turkey is very dangerous. They tell you not to do it for a few reasons. Oh, did it? Mostly grease fires, but also um, pressure and stuff like that. Bro did it, and he paid the price, the ultimate price. Do you want to do that? Die? Yep. Content? <laughs> um, yeah. I'm, I, actually, yeah. I actually got really excited at the thought of... I was because I was listening to the, the last episode on the way home. I was we got really excited at the thought of making that AI like live stream of AI me and AI you just. Oh, talking. you want to try? I don't know what how we would even start, and I think that'd be much more money that I'm will that I'm willing to shell on a regular basis. But 
it would be a fun experiment. Like if just one month we just had it running. I mean, we can maybe do it just like a text based thing and then transcribe it. That's kind of what I'm later, hoping, but we'll, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. We'll figure it out. Um, anywho. Uh, yeah, dude, it's been a crazy week. I'm so fucking exhausted. It's I, been a weird week for me too. I've, I've been super tired all week and I'm not quite sure why I've been going ooh. out and doing things and I've just not had the energy to work on shit. Now I'm here. Yeah, you, you in the back. Okay. I had to get my stomach, my GERD medicine. Okay. And so regurgitated, regurgitated. Um, and so I had to go through like the, the whatever fucking the rigmarole, whatever fucking automated shit that my doctor wants me to go through with some website, get the website, go to Walgreens, say I requested a thing, they, they're Walgreens, whatever. So I did all that. And then I got an email or a message from my doctor saying, we haven't seen you in like a year and a half, brother. Where are you at? And I go and I don't respond. Right. And then I think about it. And I'm like, I actually do need to go to the doctor like 100 percent. First of all, the GERD medicine kind of like I get, I get immunity to it, which is a normal thing. I get an immunity to it after like three months. Right? So by the time you're 80, you'll be taking mountains full of GERD That's medication. Essentially, because every three months it, it resets. What do you do when you're older? Oh, it resets. OK, so do you have to not take it I'll, for a certain period of time? For it's that, it's not it's not it's not like a one size fits all thing. It's this is a me. This is a me problem. Mostly. I, I, I know other people that have a similar issue, but it, it's not as common. So I think it's also an anxiety based thing, too. But um, I take I can take it for three months and then I have to stop taking it for three months to lose the immunity to it. And then I can start mm. taking it again. Annoying. So those three fun. months are bad, awful. And I have to take Pepsi and Pepsi sometimes doesn't do what it needs to do. So, but, I, but I'm like, okay, so maybe I can like double my dose and that maybe that'll fix that. And then I also thought, I'm like, I definitely have low testosterone. Like definitely got low T. I think so. And I, that's kind of what, is it because of the anime? It might be because it might be because of the anime and my titties. Um, but I, I have issues with sleep. I have issues with feeling tired all the time. I sweat when I'm, when I'm sleeping, I, I have I'm depressed. I mean, most, generally, most of the time, just neutral to bad mood most of the time. Uh, unless I'm talking to you, Zachy. Unless I'm talking to you. Um, and there's like a whole list of like symptoms of low T that and I hit almost all of them. See, I feel like I have some of that, but I feel like I could just be eating like shit. I feel like if I just cut like the fast food yeah. I eat out of my diet, it'll fix like 50 percent of that. I also, I also have like very, uh, this is not even a joke. Like this is going to come off as funny. And Ethan, I'm sure is going to be saying what the fuck is wrong with you when he hears this. Um, my tits are huge and they've been huge. Even when I was uh, like anorexic skinny, I wasn't actually anorexic, but I was like very, very skinny. And I, I still had tits that would move when I'd walk. Huge tits, small ears, huge tits, small ears. <laughs> um, oh, that's like a reverse genie situation. Did you get a fairy? What genie is giving me a huge tits well, and small genie ears? gives you big bellies, tiny oh, feet. Oh, tiny feet. Yeah. So got a it. fairy would got give it, you got it, got it, got it, got it. big boobies, tiny ears. We're always in sync, you and I. Yep. Um, we finish each other's. We finish each other. Sentences. Okay. Yep. But well, yeah. Mm. So, yeah. So I think I have low testosterone. And Man, that's I don't crazy. know what to do about that. I think that I might. That's bad for you, dude. I think it is. I think that I might uh, need. I think isn't like any sort of testosterone. Isn't that like a steroid? I don't know. That sounds right, but I I don't know. I might just need to take those steroids. Yeah, probably. What if I, what if I my voice sounds more like manly and less nerdy? Or you could just take testosterone. Maybe my dick will get bigger. Maybe you'll be more horny on the podcast, dude. Ooh, maybe like my, my primitive, like that? my primitive manly, like ooh, 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 sex, you know, and maybe this podcast will be all about sex, dude. Maybe I, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I'm, it's definitely something that I want to go to the doctor to talk about because it's interesting that I have all of the issues of low T even, and Alexis has said for like a year and a half that it sounds like I have low T and I'm like, ah, and then I actually saw the list of symptoms and I was like, Oh, probably right. So my, my first girlfriend 
wanted me to take testosterone pills. Not because, well, she thought I had low T, but not because of anything you said. She said my, my sperm was too weird. She said it was too what thick. Is, okay. Mine's thin. Congealy. Mine's very thin. My cum is very thin. So I don't know if that's. Do you want to have a come off? <laughs> We both come into a cup. That's the first episode of the new show. We both come into a cup. We both come into a cup and, and we just see whose is thicker. Mine's going to be thinner. I don't know. Wait, I don't know what, whose wins. Mine is mine. Thick. You make crepes. I make pancakes. Okay. I'll, I'll come with you. Do you want heavy cream or? Did you see that? Two mm, percent. Did you see that pay money Wubby stream where he, he was? Yeah, in a I was going to bring that up. Yep, and he came. The, the pancake batter. Yeah, pancake thing. batter. Yep. By the way, when I shake my head like this, it jerks the camera around like crazy. It takes a lot for like, me. I to feel move like it. I feel like I'm constantly shaking this. Do you have a, do you have, I could do you have an a earthquake. Desk? I wouldn't say the desk is that shaky. I just think it's like not completely even, and then the monitor adds leverage. Mm. Let me just see if that's, that's crazy, about. man. Can I be honest with you, Ben? Let's, okay, let's no, just yeah. let's just all right, all right. let's just get in. Be honest it. with me. Be honest with me. I'm, I'm a straight shooter. <clears throat> we we've talked about how reflux is with shorts and everything, and I I certainly like it, and I I know that it's impossible with our current setup to increase the quality of some of those. But goddamn, that episode. 21 with those six people all with shitty webcams zooming in just looks so bad like i'm i'm not gonna lie to you ben i just stopped making shorts of it like a third of the way through and moved on to 22 because i just felt way more inspired by like the types of edits i could I do think by you're that also episode. i think you're also you might be comparing the like the quality i mean it is bad of the cameras maybe well yeah well that, that but I, I mean it is bad. i guess we'll see the next time we have more people it, it is definitely like pretty fucking uh uh everybody's like this like so small yeah which look i i get that that here's how i think about it and obviously i don't do the all the shorts so the, the this might be no uh, nothing moot um as moot. long as you can see the person doing the thing i don't think it matters that much yeah i mean i see some pretty crap shorts uploaded to youtube like yeah. some some like old rips of the Joe Rogan experience podcast. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, that, that get like millions of views. I do. I do wonder though. I don't know. Cause it, in my mind, I'm just trying to think of like what we're not doing, you know, and like, you know, maybe we should be funny. Minecraft, but, uh, aside, let's play motherfucker, <laughs> dude. I, I, I mean, maybe it's coming back in style a little bit, you know, I think I honestly, I think, I don't know if that just as an aside, that does honestly sound like a fun idea. I don't know where, where we do what we do with it or where yeah. we put it, but it sounds like a fun idea. Yeah, I don't know. Cause again, I don't want to turn this channel into like a gaming. I don't want Let's it to have anything channel. to do with I feel with like gaming. that cheapens a hundred percent. I think the most it gets to that is like, you know, the Pokemon quiz or something like that, where it's more like us. Yeah. Us based. I'm us so bored of game as, as I think we, we talked about before. I'm so bored of games at this point. I play games, dude. I find it that the games that I like the most are games that I've already played or sequels to games I've already played. That's it, dude. It's so weird because I think we talked about a while ago. We enjoy gaming more as a social experience these days than like what they are for games. Yeah. I, I don't think that's always true, but I think that's majority of the case for me now. But now I'm finding myself in a position where, yes, that's true, but I'm not like as into some of the games my friends are into right now either. Yeah. And um, nothing against my friends, but like. You know, they're, they're all playing grounded right now, which I used to like, but like I can only really play that personally for like 30, 40 minutes before I'm just personally bored. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so I'm just out of the grounded group now, which is fine. I'm not complaining about that. It's what I wanted. But like, you know, I just I just don't have like a game. I don't have exactly. a game right now that I have as a social experience. It used to be Warzone a little bit. I have I play one. Madden with my dad. I but. have one for you. It's, it's going to be like a maybe it's probably going to be a one session thing. But I want I, I this is a great idea. So, OK, this is this is like a, probably a conversation for off air, but it's a it's a fun game that I really like. And it's an indie game. So it's a game called Talk Kingdoms Reborn. Never heard of it. It's like if you mixed uh, Age of Empires with Civ. 
Do I lo- you know I like Civ. I do know you like Civ. I'm not familiar with Age of Empires, though. So it's more like managing, like uh, resource management, kind of city builder kind of games. Okay. Have you seen me playing City Skylines again recently? No, but it's just like City Skylines. If City Skylines was like middle age kind of Mm. deal. So I'm almost middle aged. What? (laughs) True. (laughs) Dude, I'm even closer. Um, What we're doing is a bunch of us. How old are you again? 27. (laughs) Oh, my God. I know. Don't don't say, oh, my God. (laughs) We're young. What do you mean? We got whole lives ahead of us. uh, Did I tell you that? Joe Rogan's like older than my dad. It is like the number one pod. Why have I mentioned his name so much in this episode? I'm going to put a stop to it. Okay. Right now. I don't even, I don't like him. I just, he keeps coming up. Yep. Okay. um, By the way, my mom one time, I don't know if I told you this or I said that on the podcast, but I, I was talking to my mom and she was talking about going to a work thing and she was like, oh, do you want to come? And I was like, no, not really. I'm, I'm kind of good. And she's like, oh, but there are kids there, uh, there that are like your age, like 30, like in mid thirties. What your the fuck? mom. What the fuck? Anyway. Um, so Kingdom is reborn. Dude, fuck your mom. Most people have. No, I'm sorry. I'm that, sorry. I'm- most people have said that. With the with the I wanna in the in the front of it. Can I be honest with you? You know how you can press the forward button on YouTube and it skips five seconds automatically. Yeah, I just did that by accident listening to you talk. That's fucked up. You're supposed to be my friend, Zach, and supposed to listen to every word I say. I'm sorry. Okay. You should be mean to me more. I feel like I'm not. I, I I like how you're more positive. You you're you're in the middle of a story. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Okay. So kingdoms are born. We're uh, eight, uh, we're doing like seven, eight, trying to get seven, eight players on one world because it's the only like the only multiplayer city builder kind of resource management game. We all we we play it with four people weekly, but we're 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 gonna do like a, a thing maybe on, on some Friday or something, where it's gonna be seven, eight, nine of us on a big ass continent doing our own thing, kind of like in, in being able to gift and stuff to one another. You're a hundred percent invited. It's on Steam. It doesn't take a lot to run your computer this- to run it. You're gonna do just a one. You said it could be a one session. It could thing. be a one session if thing, but if if we can t- find time to get if, all the eight people back together, if the game isn't stupid expensive, twenty five, and I'm available that day, I might I might join for great. a session. That would be if, those type of games. I was thinking about this earlier today. I know I just said games are more of a social experience for me, or that's what I get into more. I don't know what it is. I don't even know how to define it. I get sucked in the Civ. I get sucked in the city skylines. Mm-hmm. Um, any kind of game where I'm like progressing a number, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I can manage number. I, it's not that I'm like a nerd with math or anything either. It's that like, I don't know. There's just, there's just something about is, those games that keep me getting sucked I should, in. I should, I should, I, I, I was wrong about Age of Empires. I'm, I was, I was not thinking of, the I don't right. know that game. It, so. It's not like Age of Empires. It's more like City Skylines plus Civ. It's like exactly what, you, what the two games you're describing. Interesting. It's fucking banging, dude. It's so good. And we, we, each time we, we've played it, uh, we had two, one session on one world where we we're kind of figuring it out. And then we had another two sessions on another world. And then now, now we're starting on a new world that's very big. This is the uh, for, for people that normally play the same people that played Elden Ring. This, we normally do the same mm. thing. We play every week. Well, we switch obviously games, um, but yeah, I, that'd be great. I'm filming it, all of it. I'm good recording it. And I might put it somewhere, or I might just have it just for funsies. Might. How's that Elden Ring video treating you, by the way? Um, I started working We're on it again. Putting more and more work on your plate, and then I'm asking you, hey, what about that other yeah. thing, buddy? So the Elden Ring video, I put, I recorded myself. Uh, I recorded the uh, voiceover for an hour and a half on Monday and I put a lot of work into it before I had to take drive for 33 hours and like four days. So, um, but wow. yeah, it's, it's going, I'm, I'm done. I want to get it out because the first line in that, in that spoiler, the first line is on May 27th, 2022. <clears throat> and I want to release it for May 27th, 2023. That's the kind of the goal. Do you think you can hit it? No, but I'm going to, I'm going to want to, I, I how, close pod- do you th- how, how far along are you? I'm about 50%. But I also okay. have been very That's slow. That's more than I thought. It. I've also been very slow with it. As, I, as, as soon as if I finish the voiceover, all the editing is my biggest issue is getting time where it's quiet in my house to just do a voiceover mm. and doing it right and doing it while I'm awake and having emotion in my voice. That's the biggest issue. The editing part was- is easy, easy. I was talking to one of my friends about doing freelancing work 
earlier this week and I had brought up a very similar topic about finding a comfortable environment and feeling motivated to do editing and doing freelance work and just work in general. And I explained how previously when I was working from home and doing like online classes and everything like that, I thought I had it good, but I was feeling very like my environment was not conducive towards effective work. Yep. It was very depressing to be here th- the entire time. Yep. And, and I didn't know that was the case until I had left. And now I have this job now. And I thought I would hate going into the office every day. And, and, and certainly there's elements of it that suck. But I show up to work and typically I'm like in the mood to work if I show up to an office. And um, I know previously when I was first it was like a few years ago where I went through a similar experience again. I had taken a trip to, to the library where you could rent out private rooms. And I was like, oh, I should just like rent out a private room here and do work. And that was my suggestion towards that friend. And I almost suggested to you to go to the library. But then I'm thinking of you trying to do Elden Ring voiceover yeah. work in a quiet library. That's, that's and I really don't problem, think that'll work. Is finding the time for the voiceover and I, scripting. I hate scripting. I've learned this. And I keep the going back to when Ethan was calling me essentially calling me a dipshit for not liking hereditary i'm like why do i not like hereditary i mean you are he he's too mean to people but like he's too mean and stubborn to people sometimes but he is right about that one i i keep thinking I'm like why don't i like it and i like i have my reasoning people and hate it, it and it makes people sense, don't like that but movie it makes too. sense to, but and i'm like then i'm like do i like any movies and i'm like oh yeah i like like movies that have like i like the mario movie yeah but i, I like the mario movie because it was as a, as a it was a massive nostalgia trip uh you know yeah, I, you're I like a consumer the, capitalist cog at a machine dude yeah I, I think that i'm like i'm super like susceptible to nostalgia and i don't like scripted things i think that's just how it is i don't like i don't like things that are like anime is the is the, the anime and the game of thrones are the two exceptions you don't like my little video essay stuff that i watch that shit's all right um it's 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 also more human though than like what most do you watch industry. right now youtube no, like what on YouTube? Because I'm mentioning the YouTube videos that I'm watching. I can I can go to my my subscription box right now. Do you want to like live? Yeah, go through your YouTube homepage. Not, there's nothing I'm, a lot of people they don't like talking about like what they. I have I have. I, I know a lot of people that don't. Um, you know what's funny? This is the most recent thing on my. <laughs> That's um, me. Yeah. Um, a lot of people don't like talking about the things they watch. And I think it's because they're, I feel like it's because they're hiding something. Cause I don't have any concern. Um, this is funny. The top one. And it's just, it's just because they're live. The official Pokemon YouTube channel is number one. There you uh, go. Super mega Oompaville video game donkey. She says, uh, critical drop strafe haze Pokemon again. Cause they're live in other countries. Jay Schlatt, Ms. Kiff, uh, Nick Pollum, rubber Ross from game grumps. Uh, Elliot yeah, but didn't Coyle. Ms. Kiff have some controversy? Yeah, I don't know what it is. Uh, he, I, I don't want to uh, get us in hot water, Ben. He alleged the the allegation was that he uh, covered up a sexual assault mm. because it was his friend. I don't know anything. I about have my that, own opinions that's on really that. Really unfortunate, but I am playing fence sitter, so I'm going to just move on. Um, beat him ups. I love beat 'em ups. He had the Nintendo podcast. Uh, he's he's one of the, the hosts of it. I used to hate him because I thought he was an annoying, like very kid friendly. Love him now. He, he I've, I I I fucking love him. Doctor K. Do you know Doctor K? No, he's I don't a know most Harvard of these people. psychiatrist who does Twitch. Well, used to do more Twitch content, but now does YouTube content. Very informa- informational. He plays video games and shit, so he's kind of like relatable. Love him. Alpha Rad, more critical. Scott the Waz. Poke we made balls. fun of him pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I, a lot of Twitch uh, content, a lot of like retro, like beat 'em ups does, uh, like Switch Nintendo e content. Elliot Coyle went to Creator Clash. His name is Beat 'em Ups. He would, he'd be too much of a pussy. He's like a pussy Australian uh, guy. He, yeah, he would never. Um, the Retro Future does like he, he, uh, he gets Game Boys that are like poorly, you know, in shit condition, and he. he Fixes them up. He fixes them up. But yeah, he restores them exactly. He restores them. He, he recently went to Japan. He did a great series where he went to Japan. Ooh. and he bought a bunch of Game Boys for really cheap, and a bunch of like stuff for really cheap that would be like hundreds of dollars here. It's like crazy. Masahiro Sakurai, the guy who made Smash and Kirby, 
he has a he he talks about the game game design and concepts like as a whole. Um, Alpha Rat is doing a really cool thing right now where he's pl- uploading a video every day for the all- entirety of 2023, and it's a different game. It's a gameplay uh, channel. He's uploading a different game every day for 365 days. Fucking rad. I don't know. Like I I I mean I when, I love that shit. Go when ahead. you mentioned the YouTuber that went to Japan for all that stuff. I'm going to, I'm going to put you on right now. He, he does not need a shout out for me, but if you're unfamiliar, do you know who Nick Robinson is yeah. on YouTube? I've never, okay. I don't think, I think I've watched one or two of his videos ever, but dude, they're so good. It, it, it's mostly Nintendo focused stuff. I'm not about, even like a thing of the right guy. Is that the, is that the, the handsome guy with the beard? No, what am I thinking of? no, not at all. But that his that YouTube handsome? videos. Oh, oh no, he doesn't have a beard. Um, Fuck you, Nick Robinson. No, just well, kidding. I love YouTube videos. He's the guy that hangs videos. out with uh, the guy who plays Tarkov all the time. I have no clue who that is. I have no clue what Tarkov is. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm not even interested in like getting super deep into Nintendo stuff. But his YouTube videos are so good. I was wrong. His YouTube. I was wrong. He watched. Sorry, I cut you off because I was looking. He did the video. I, also, not the Tarkov guy. He just looks like the Tarkov guy. This dude did the video where he 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 restored a fucking Blastoise from like 15 <sighs> years ago on this random ass uh, Pokemon Leaf Green cartridge. That video banged. I loved dude, that video. Subscribe to like I'm I'm go down a rabbit hole. Like his videos are so good. Yeah. Like it, it is like solving. It's like you know how I talked about solving online mysteries and like lost media true crime content. It's like that type of channel, but all about Nintendo and like. What it's not just all about Nintendo because it's about other video games and yeah. anime stuff as well, but it's clear he's very much into yeah. Nintendo. That's like 90, like 80% of his content, yeah. right? Um, the Micklesoft Bimbos video, did you, um, um, do you know, you know the meme Micklesoft Bimbos? No. Oh, it's a very funny meme. It was like on the internet since like the early 2000s. Um, I, I don't know how to explain it being funny without just seeing the image. Um, but it's this image of up. like an office space. Yeah. While I'm talking, look it up. It's like the image of this office space in Japan. And it very clearly is like trying to be a knockoff of Microsoft or of Microsoft windows. And it says, um, Micklesoft bimbo is on it, which was a funny meme, but he, yeah, yeah. So he found a guy that went there. He like found the location of it, like in Japan. He flew there to go like see the location. He like uncovered this whole mystery about like Microsoft bimbos. And surprisingly, it's like not just a play on Microsoft Windows. It's also like a pun in Japanese or something too. Really? Yeah, it's like a I don't know. I don't want to spoil too much of the videos, but um, give give him a you would you would like his channel. Yeah, I I definitely watched that one. I think I watched that video twice. The one with the leaf green. I think I actually watched that video twice because that was such a cool idea. I, I should watch more of his videos because that that definitely was like above and beyond really cool shit. Um, uh, yeah, most of his videos are like, dude, the amount of effort you're putting into this YouTube video is just like insane. I, that's my favorite. That's my favorite type of shit is when people like go like stupid you know who does that another guy who had a lot of controversy like five years ago john tron oh yeah yeah he also will do some not maybe not so much recently but he has gone above and beyond in, in prior i haven't videos. heard of him at all in the past couple of years is he, he like he, radio silent or no he, he still makes videos. Just heard of it's, it's like monthly at this point but it i i still love i think that he's one of the funniest creators that have ever come on youtube come on youtube um are there women on YouTube? Because I'm about to come on YouTube. I'm about to, yeah, I'm gonna come all over that hair ass. I kept yeah. I laughed at that in the car when I was driving home. I, I knew it was coming <laughs> and I I was laughing at it. Um but uh yeah. Should I pull up my YouTube feed? I'm interested because if you don't know like most of the guys well on there, on mine. What's interesting is I actually watch a lot of content oh, on the Reflex oh, channel. I just for I just, some reason. I so just, my YouTube feed's like split between Reflex and my personal channel. I what? just realized that's going to be so much fucking editing for everybody I brought up. Oh my God. Cause I'm gonna have to put a video for like a, a, a short video example for each. I'm not going to have to, I'm going to be like, it's imperfect. It's imperfect. Should I not without do that. this? No, do it because I already did it. So I'm already fucked. So I'm like, okay, well I'll give you a, a few brief samples of, of the reflex homepage and a few brief examples of my personal. Number one is the massive lost media iceberg explained by source brew. Okay. Is my number one on okay. reflex. Yeah, and yeah. then, 
Oh, there's this guy called Shai. He's like an urban explorer. He like hitchhikes on trains across Europe and like Serbia and mm-hmm, shit. Mm-hmm. He's awesome. Um, there's a USL versus XFL video Great. here by I don't even know that's good sports. Uh, I've watched some XFL content this year, so that's whatever. Uh, Emp Lemon, I really like Emp Lemon. So the Rick and Morty Emp Lemon video for some oh, reason. I, I don't Amp think Lemon. I've watched that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's he's pretty good. Sometimes his takes are a little. Yeah, get off your high horse for me. But I do like I do like him. Hey, there's Turner. Six days ago, T Funk and Cater Raw Files mm-hmm, fan edit. Mm-hmm. Um, and I guess let, let me switch over to my personal channel here really quick because that has years, if not a decade, of algorithm behind it. I unsubscribe one, from a lot of channels on my I don't know about you, but I like if I'm not watching somebody I've never unsubscribed from a channel unless they've really? done something. Like there's there's probably thousands of subscriptions on my I, personal channel. I sub- unsubscribe when I stopped watching Rooster Teeth or Treatment Hunter. I, let's play all that shit. I unsubscribe to each. It, like mm. you know, number one is legal legal, astonishing corruption at the Supreme Court. Okay. The pay money wubby highlights come up right under that, of course. Yep, perfect. Um, um, that's a post. It's an ad. Uh, the Pat McAfee show. Ooh, Captain Disillusion. Do you know who Captain Disillusion I do. is? I do. Did you see his recent video? I did not. I haven't seen. I oh, haven't talk seen a about video. again going above and beyond. He he uploads like once a year. So like, yeah, I haven't seen a video of. I honestly, I you say Captain Dis- Disillusion. I know I've watched a video. I don't remember what the video was. Yeah, I recommend it. It's very informative for video editing, and it's just like. The amount of it's like literally movie level CGI mm. he's putting into these YouTube videos. Linus Tech Tips, my guy. That's, I mean, I can keep scrolling. I mean, the rest of this stuff is pretty um, uneventful. Like, what I guess go go down and see what would you watch right now if you were free on your um, subscriptions? There's a, there's a dividend data video about Warren Buffett right there. That's fun. Um, what would I watch out of this? Uh, I don't know. Honestly, sometimes I'll just sit and refresh my YouTube homepage like five times. Yeah. Like I, I do that a lot. Um, I'll do it right now. Why not? CPG gray. How many countries are there? Oh, that sounds I'd like watch so him. informative. Why would they say how, how many con- Just answer the question. It could be a picture. Yeah, I think, I think there's a gray area. Land border disputes. Who recognizes what other countries, man? Territories? Sure. Ge- ge- the geography whizzes are up my ass right now. I'm sorry. Yeah, buddy. I don't know. I have to be in like a mood to watch YouTube now. Yeah. Like I do watch it a lot, but like I I, I will refresh my homepage like 20 times to find something where I'm like finally that yeah. click. Yeah. Hmm. Well, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a big YouTube. That was informative. I watched, how many, did, did you ever, did you do that YouTube uh, recap thing? Oh, uh, like, 20, end of 2022. Like, I watched, like, 15,000 videos or some shit like that in 2021, 2022. Oh, you sent that to me? I did do it. I forget what it said. I watched it. Maybe I sent a screenshot to you or I, something. But. I almost consistently have a YouTube stream up on my computer while I'm working. So. Interesting. Yeah. Um, You're weird, buddy. Do you have. Oh mean? yeah, I was gonna mention this a while ago. Be like, be mean to me more back. Oh, I like so. I, I we, we've merged friend groups here. It's become very apparent my friend group takes the piss out of people, and your friend group wants to kiss each other. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, 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 very uplifting and positive. Mm-hmm. And I think it's interesting to 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 put these two things together. And I'm 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 being nice because I'm I'm a nice guy. Mm-hmm. I like doing nice things, but I'm saying like, you know, sometimes I'll say a joke where I'm, I'm taking the piss out of you and I'm like, shit, he's just too nice for me. He's too nice to me for me to f- verbally, verbally tomato him like that. Let's talk about this, Zach. I'm actually on in that same vein. <clears throat> what, how do you feel about the physical touch from a, fr- physical from touch? a friend, from a, from just like a dude? Like, a, um, like, are you a hugger? I can be. Honestly, I don't. I, I can be. You know what I mean? Like, I don't have a preference particularly. If, if you know, if you're, if you, uh, if you were to. Okay, how do I ask what I'm trying to ask without sounding like I want to just fucking molest you? 
Um, I think it depends on how close I am with someone. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like most of my friends can do almost whatever they want to me. But like, if I'm just meeting you for the first time, (laughs) it's like, I am not that into it. Like I'm someone that takes a while to warm up to people. Yeah. Like I talk nonstop, but like, and I think there are parts of me that is extroverted, but I just can't like immediately meet someone. And I'm like, cool with you. Yeah. It takes a while for me. I'm very, I'm, I'm a very, uh, I'm not, I'm not overly physical. Like I know I can immediately tell when people are not for physical touch. I can almost immediately tell. I, I've had friends though, where I'll just like hand on the shoulder and I'll like hold their arm and they, they'll just be like this. Like they won't give a fuck. Like, or just, I don't know, like people that are, I, I, and then I have friends like, um, I don't know, like Evan, my buddy, Evan, who hasn't been on the show yet for some reason, um, who I, he when he gets when he gets a few drinks in him he tries to kiss all of his male friends and he's straight straight uh he's drunk and gay I, I think that's a, a thing um but if he if he's sober i didn't feel like he would be mad if i tried to like put my arm around him or hug him or something you know um but i'm very much like i i am a very a very huggy person like I, i'm very like high fivey like you know, grab the ass, kind of, you know, grab the back of the neck and make me suck, make him suck me off kind of guy. Well, when you're a, when you're a podcast star. Right. Always so touchy. You. What if this age is really bad? <laughs> and like my, my like well, microaggressions. I'm something. What? I'm quoting. I'm, I'm quoting, quoting yeah. something. Yeah. You are fucked, but me. Yeah. That was fine. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I say that because. I was trying to think of what how what kind of person you'd be if you'd be a kind of a person that just kind of like like I'm I'm the kind of person who's just like oh yeah because Joe will just well I'll be I'll be um, the same Joe that uh, is too I don't Joe know, who Mama is yeah. too uh, is too not sober to be uh, in this in this podcast right now he'll just grab my ass and I'll just I'll just keep walking I don't I don't care he knows I don't care he knows I don't give that doesn't it doesn't bother me. So I'm I'm like a very like kind of like yeah do whatever Adam at, my brother will come into my room and grab my face and kiss me on the lips, unironically. Oh, he Tom Brady is you. He Tom Brady's me. I yeah. I, I was thinking today like what kind of person That's a would no Zach for me? Be? I mean, not a yeah, kiss on the lips kind of guy, but I like are you no. are you floppy or are you kind of like? Am I floppy? Yeah, like if someone like lifts up my arm, I just let it. I just let them take it. Are you kind of a guy that'd be like, give it back? No. No. I don't, I don't mind most of that unless like, you know, my partner has an issue with it or something, but like, that's really about it. I, I think I wouldn't initiate that. You know what I mean? I'm not going to start that, but like, I also don't care. I don't give a shit. Okay. I, I didn't, I, that was kind of the answer I came to in my head, just based off of knowing you purely online. But I was like, if I, if I just like, like started, like if, I don't if, frequently touch people. I'm not usually touching someone. Okay. Well, I, I, my, my thought was if I, if we were doing something and I just randomly just went like this and I was like trying to fight you, I, I was trying to think of what your immediate no, reaction that. would be. I've you, done that. You try to fight back? Oh yeah, I'd punch you. Okay. Well, Dude, I, one time I was with, um, like my grandparents were over here visiting. I'm, I'm very tall. Um, and I was tall when I was younger too. We had the chandelier and for whatever reason, the chandelier was very low and I was like fake fighting my sister. You know, I was like, pop, pop. You know what I mean? Like Mm -hmm. that kind of like play thing. I did like this uppercut move, like just as a joke. And I punched right through the chandelier. It was like a glass chandelier, like shattered glass on my hand, punching up. And so from my parents and grandparents perspective in the other room, they're like out of the corner of their eye. Just see me punch through the chandelier for no reason. That's awesome. Very fun. That's badass as fuck though. It hurt. Sounds like it would. I didn't mean to do it, but. Um, I know. I was just thinking because. I have I have like certain friends where like if we're bowling or something and I, and they they, they what was your highest score? Who the fuck knows? I have no idea. Brian's is one ninety nine. I know that. Um, but if, if they're bowling or something and they get a strike, I'll just run up to them and start like punching them in the stomach. You know what I mean? I don't. Yeah. But then there's other friends where if they do that, I'll just be like, uh, or something. You know, <laughs> just like screaming their direction. You know what I mean? Hey. I don't know. I'm also cringe. I also I'm very overly concerned. You want to hear like actually like. Probably sad shit, to be honest, like sad mental shit. Um, I am very. So the way my brother, my older brother puts it is a girl's biggest worry 
when walking in public is oh is a creep. Yeah. A guy's biggest worry when walking near a girl in public. Am it, I a creep? Is, be, is is am I the creep? And you don't you never want to be the creep, right? Or do I do I come off as a creep? Whatever. And what the I, hell am I doing here? And I take that to uh another level. I <laughs> okay, hold on. <laughs> hold pause. on, wait, pause, pause. What do you what do you think he's about to say? A <laughs> B What about C? Well the two A C all the D. above. <laughs> um so okay. I okay. How do I say this without coming off as like really annoying? You're an outwardly energetic person. No, no. Outwardly, I'm actually outwardly. Weird. I'm very introverted when I when I'm not behind a computer screen, which sounds really cringe as well. But um, I'm actually that's not technically true. a Discord when I'm, mod. When I'm, I am for multiple different uh, Discord channels. For um. That's not true. When I'm like with a bunch of friends, I'm in a really good mood. I'm I'm fairly extroverted, but I f- accidentally flashed a few kids the other day with my ass because I was pulling on my pants and my ass came All out. All right. All right. Calm down. Be careful with what this is. Public. Anyway, this is actually a, the worst time to bring up what I'm about to bring up. Um, so I have a weird thing where I did not hug Alexis's niece for the last like four years because I didn't want them to think that because I, I know that I look weird so i didn't want them to anybody to think that i was up to any trouble and for the first four years i i didn't i didn't i had no physical contact whatsoever and i and i've always been like that like i'm I, sure there's people i know that i haven't touched well i i've i it was i think it became obvious when i when i would walk into the room and i'd hug everybody but her niece um why would what, what, what was weird about the niece Were there other women i didn't want to come too, off, or no i didn't want to come off as a creepy guy who's like, you know, cause yeah, she's, but were there she's other like women you were hugging in that room. Yeah. Her mom, her sister, whatever. i what I'm saying is I am over a oh, way overly sensitive that somebody is going to like, I had a, all right, here's another story. And here's probably one of the reasons why I'm like that. I was going to hang out in like 2015. I was going to hang out with this girl. She had a boyfriend. Cool. Whatever. Um, wasn't really interested in her like that in like in that way anyway. But I said, Oh, let's go take a walk at this place. She said, All right, I'll bring my boyfriend. I said, All right. And then her boyfriend bailed. And she said, Okay, I'm gonna bring my dog. And I I was like, Okay. I think that she wanted some I in my I maybe maybe I was just being oh, hypercritical of myself, but in my brain I'm like Oh, she doesn't want to be alone with me whatsoever. Alone. Like this is just like, yeah. a, and which is completely up to her. Like I'm not, I'm not, I have no problem that she doesn't want to be alone. But it obviously, in and in, in some place inside of me, it makes me feel like, what are you displaying that is making her feel unsafe? I've never hung out with this person before, so Your I mean, there's face. that. And I mean, that's that's normally what I what I boil it down to is I'm just not. I don't I don't think I'm an approachable person by default. I think I also have really bad. You're also like, just RBF. a dude. And you I'm know, just a guy. Yeah. You know what sucks about being an adult man? Mm. I went for a, a walk around the park. It was like a year ago. I went for a walk around the park and um, there's just a bunch of children playing in the middle. And I was like, I kind of feel like I look weird just circling around a bunch of children. The problem with being a, a, a man in America, bro. It's not really that big of an no. issue, but like I was just walking around the park and I was like, I feel like it looks kind of weird that I'm just like circling a bunch of children. It's, it's unfortunate. For like 30 minutes. It's unfortunate because like, I get it. You know what I mean? It's not like I'm like, why is this happening to me? It's, yeah, it's more of just small, like, yeah, it's a small price to pay for like what a lot of men actually do in the world. I'm supposed to be fence setting yeah. right now, but I'm being super not fence. No, that's have you seen me replying on YouTube shorts? I, I just go I know full you do. throttle. I know you do. Like it's so weird. Cause like in the shorts themselves, I try to keep it more like someone in the center. Like I try not yeah. to get super political, but when people just say, really outlandish stuff in the comments i'm like dude fuck yourself like get out of here yep, yep. Like, i think i'll just go off there's a piece of me that's like should we just start like deleting comments that are just weird 
But then there's no, because I feel like that's weirder. I feel like that's like, oh, you're not afraid of like criticism on yeah. this issue. I that's feel like kind of the problem that I that, that the solution or the yeah, I, answer I, I don't want it to seem, I don't want it to come across as though I'm like censoring people or I'm like, oh, I'm saying my weird opinion on the internet, but if you have another opinion, that's not allowed. Like, I don't want to come across as that, um, even though they are wrong. Yeah, blatantly. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Some of them. Most of them. Um, Most. It is, but it is a small price to pay in the overall like scheme of things. You know what I mean? Like I, me not have not me walking somewhere else instead of around that park. You know that what not a huge deal. Even though you have no bad intention, and you, you shouldn't. You in some some regard, you feel like you sh- you shouldn't be blamed for the actions of other people. You know it, that it is what it is. That's just that's just. You how should it is. next time you're at a park, go up to the moms or kids and say, "Look, I just gonna walk around the park for a few hours. I might stare <laughs> a little bit. I have GERD. Like I'm just a little weird. Look at my but hair. I'm not here to hurt you. <laughs> but I want. I just want you to know, whatever I do, whatever wherever I go, I'm not here to do anything. I'm just here to walk around the park. Right. Right. And I think, I think. Unironically, I think that like the me me making those like I'm a pedophile jokes is like a weird way to cope with like the reality that I feel Being like a pedophile. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> with the reality that I I uh, am overwhelmingly sensitive to people thinking that I'm being more devious than I am. You are a little devious though. I'm a little stupid. I think that is the biggest issue. I'm very stupid. I I'm. I'm stupid in the sense that I am unconfident and it comes off as stupid, but I, mm. you know what I mean? Like I, I'll just, I don't know. Now I'm being gay like that. <laughs> um, yeah. Just like that. Just like that. Like I, you do kiss your homies on the lips though. Uh, no, only, only gay. Adam, only my brother. What is, yeah. Well, the point is that's not gay. What is a gay is being not confident in public. Yeah. According to what? you. Right. I didn't say that. Yeah. Well, yeah, your words, not mine. Um, but uh, yeah, that's just a thing. What? That's just a thing. And it's it's weird. And I, I hate it's weird to talk about, you know, because it's like. I don't know. I, I, I I'm just very hypersensitive to. Uh, being around people that think that I, I don't even like walking. Like I, I this might, this is probably a normal thing for guys, but like when I'm in New York, and I my path is to walk straight, but there's a girl that's ten a very feet in front of problem. me. I I got yeah. I got to turn. I don't want her to feel any type of way. I know I know that I you know I'm often wearing a fucking. Why are you late my, for our meeting? Why are you late for our meeting? Oh, there's just too many girls. There's too many girls. I had to take every, too many <laughs> girls on my way. I, I just had turn. to keep walking in circles. Um. But I, 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 know, I, wear, I wear headphones like I'm normally like looking down like at my feet or something with a fucking big ass sweatshirt on normally a black sweatshirt like I, I, I get it I like I understand I don't want to make any anybody feel uncomfortable that's my whole thing and I know that by default with how retarded I look I feel like I'm going to I'm going to by default make someone uncomfortable uncomfortable so I, I very very I try to get around like not you know i don't want i don't whatever yeah i guess i'm just awesome or something but you're hot zach that's the problem yes dude finally got some titties on the show let's fucking go um but uh no but now i'm not allowed near children there was one time that happens now oh yeah and you gotta you gotta go walk talk to your neighbor about something too huh oh yeah i have to change my voicemail um there was one time I was in Hoboken, New Jersey. Gross. And a group of college girls asked me to take their picture because they're all like hanging out, at, hanging out at a Shake Shack. It was the first time ever that someone approached me about doing something so menial. And it was a bunch of like 19 year olds. And I'm like a 20, probably 26 year old at that point. It was the first time ever. And it felt very weird. Hold on, I'm getting a call. Ben. What? How how interesting is it that our this show differs so much episode to episode? Like when like when we have a lot of people on, it carries this really chaotic kind of like improv comedy energy. When it's just you and I, we just kind of get really into these like I don't want to call them complex topics, but you know, I feel like we got interesting perspectives on a lot of different things, but it's more conversational based. And then when Ethan in his company 
joins the show. It's just straight like character. Art. I, I like that. I think one thing that I think that we need to do better, you know, if we're episodes mm. of you, you and me. Yeah. It's funny. Cause it's like the opposite of what you just said. We all, we so often talk as if we are right now of, of future plans with the, like, I know like our direct. It, I know. think episode like three, I don't know if it was episode three or not, but one of the first like five episodes I said, like, we got to stop talking about how it's going to get better. You know what I mean? Like yeah. every single time it's like, Oh, it's going to get better. It's going to get better. Yeah. I know that it, it's not a good look that to say that great, every episode. Great title. But, that for the, for this episode, this show is not going to get better. Isn't the title for this episode. You know what? Yes. Yeah. I'm, we made it up right here. There's no more debate. Nope. You guys don't know. First of all, cause there's no one. <laughs> there's no one listening um if, you, if you're listening right now i don't know what timestamp this is but go comment the timestamp down below and say say what do you want them to say ben you make it up um unsubscribed yeah go down there just put the timestamp down there and just say unsubscribed i'd, I'd be very curious to know um and make that a short be very too. surprised that a short. if that happened I, I can, but like, I'm more curious about how many people made it to this point in the video in the first oh, I see place. What you're saying, yeah, oh. I'm fucking stupid. Duh. Why would you, why would you make that a short? Um, Just because we get more, more, more comment <laughs> engagement on shorts. That's why my brain immediately went to make it a short, but that doesn't make any sense. Go ahead. What I, um, mm, I flipped you off by mistake. I, um, the fuck, bro? have something I'm trying to build to, but I did have a moment on reflex that I was kind of proud of. Um, I had this idea for a title on the back burner for a while. I've tried to title multiple things this title over the past like three months, and I've never had the cojones. We know what that means now from a previous episode to actually do it. Um, we've done the calls to actions to have people subscribe in videos before and everything. But when it, when I know the content kind of sucks, when I know I made kind of a shit posty short, I've thought about titling it like just fucking unsubscribe or yeah. just unsubscribe or something yeah. like that. But I, I was, I, I guess like there's nothing really to be scared of. Cause not too many people would unsubscribe if they took it literally. But I always thought like, if I saw that, I'd be like, Oh, I'd subscribe. Cause mm -hmm. that's funny. Mm -hmm. But I, I don't know why I just never actually pulled the trigger on it until like a week or two ago where I did it. And it was one of our most subscribed to shorts in a while. So I don't know what we can learn from that, but it's an interesting story. It isn't, isn't that something? Interesting stories. Interesting stories we are like something. like interesting stories. Um, I just had an idea. Oh, my God. The best jokes start with a speech. Pause. You got another phone call? Yeah. Um, so, this is on the recording. Ben, 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 Ben. I want to make, sure, make sure you see this and you don't just skip over this, okay? Uh, I, I, the Constitution of the United States. We, the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish... Zachary. Oh, after another break. Wow. Uh, There's a lot of those today. When was the last uh, time you pooped? Today, probably like three hours ago. Can you give me like a timestamp? No. Was it, How long before the start of this episode was it? I said like three hours. It's about like an hour before we started. Okay. Was hey, it, put in the comments if you. Was it a good one? No, not really. Bad poop. Like, like bad as in like diarrhea or like crayon poop? I had a night last night. No, not even really like that kind of bad. It was just kind of like stomach not working right, you know? Mm. Soft stool kind of deal or what? Yeah, but like kind of, kind of like not a lot. You know what I mean? Like, you know, like you feel like you got to go, but like it's not oh, really happening. Yes, yes. And you got to like really work on it to it's, actually go. It's really yeah. important to have, uh, to, to uh, poop, uh, poop is underrated. As far as health, right? Underrated or overrated? Your own feces. Right. So I have a uh, fucked up si yep. situation, of course, because yeah. oh. I'm me. Yep. Um, I poop uh, Cocoa Pebbles pretty much every time. No, no, you can't stop. I can't stop. Run it just back. keeps going. And I just keep. I hate that. I hate that, by the way. What? You know, my mom, the little, the, little, the, little, the little pebble ice you get at the gas station sometimes or at certain the best, the, the best ice period. Yeah. I, I don't know. Who, I think it was maybe my mom, but someone said to me at one point, they called it rabbit poop. 
ice. That ruined it for you. I hate that. I hate that so much. I don't like that. I don't want to be thinking about that. That word. Oh, right. I forgot you have that weird thing about the word. I don't, I don't like thinking about that around my food anyways. Really? I, 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 I've been better with my shits recently, but I, but I've also been eating worse. So I think that kind of like weirdly counteracts the weird bubble shit. So I, here's my, here's my expert opinion on why I shit, uh, cocoa, uh, cocoa puffs. Did I say pebbles? Cocoa puffs. Um, Gross. when I was two, um, my mother was giving birth to my brother. Congratulations. Yep. And, uh, my aunt, my aunt, was watching me and I fucking loved bananas and I ate so many fucking bananas that night and I've never shit the same since. Yeah. I think potassium can kind of fuck you up. And I think when you're that little and you're developing everything oh, yeah. you're developing, I think that that fucked me up. I think it fucked me up. I, I try to think about something that isn't fucked up. I'm like, okay, ears. I have eczema in my ears. Head. I have, I have eczema in my, on my, you got on my elbows? head. Uh, yeah, actually. They look a little funky. Solid. Yeah. No, that's a normal elbow. Oh, yeah, it's you're right. Normal. You're right. Normal elbow. That's good. Look at mine. Look at, look at, I got like a double bone thing going on on my is, elbow. Bro, you look dislocated? at that. I got a little extra, I got a little extra bone right there. What, what the, the heck? When is the first? Give me a, give me a, uh, also, a, I got a spider bite right there. Look at that. I got a spider that's bite. That's badass. What kind of spider Whoa. do you know? I have no clue. I saw a spider walking around my room and then I woke up with a bite. Mm. And I'm pretty sure that's what it's from, but maybe I'm wrong. Um, Hickey. When was the last time I had a hickey? No, that could have been a hickey on your arm. Oh, a spider hickey. Think yeah. the spider's in love with me? <sighs> could be. Spider in my room, I'm trying to fuck it. Is that you a song? That song? No. No, it's a great song. Did we just make it? Um, no, it's like a real song. I'm not, I'm not making that up. It's a real song. It's a great song. I forget who it's by. It's like a SoundCloud song, but it's, it's really good. I've never heard of the song. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm trying to, th- I, I try to, th- like, my fingers are also weird. Look at, see, look at, it has like a little jut. And then look at that. Look at the, if it'll, it'll, if it'll focus. You don't have to show these things off, by the way. You look. can keep something private look here. At- Your whole body. <sighs> ben, are you, um. Look, do you see it? Do you see, there's like a, like a, like an opening under my nail. Like, that's not normal. Go ahead. You could probably pick your fingernails, right? No. Why? Does it look no. like I do? You, you, you file them and clip them? Yeah. Does it look like I do? No, I mean, I, I rip my fingernails off and sometimes that happens, so. Oh, no, no, no. thought it was normal. Ben, this might be TMI. And I feel like we've not went there on the show yet. Well, I told you but that I my cum was thin, so I think we're, we can yeah, any, anything's no, our game. But, How big is my dick? Like, well, I wasn't even going to say it like that. I was going to say, you know... I, I lost my train of thought. I had a way I was going to get there and now it's lost on me. Your body's all messed up. Are you, I, I don't, I don't even know how big, but you're all good down there. Okay. Zach, do you have anything? Oh wait, no, I actually know the answer to this. You talked about your balls one time. You had an issue. Yeah. I have, I have, I have a, I have a, th- a ball issue. I have a thick vein in my balls. You're like Hitler. For the, just in general or for the ball. No, he had weird. He had one oh. ball. Oh, I didn't, I didn't know that. Maybe I did. Uh, mm-hmm. No, my dick, I, I thought about this the other day and Alexis actually brought it up. She's like, I, she said that I have the most normal looking dick. Like it, it's, good. The, it's the dick that you draw. You know, like when you, when you do the when dick you, that what, when you draw that you draw, like when you're, when you're like doodling oh. a dick, like that's the day I have that dick. It has the, and it's also, I, I, I it's also uh, short, less than average. So good for you. Yep. It's like, it doesn't matter, right? Fucking tiny. Yeah. Yeah. So that, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, not anything going on with my dick, but my balls do have a, a fat vein. Fat, fat ball vein. Yeah. And I, I think I've gained too much weight when it, a lot of it went to my thighs. So I'm down, I'm, I'm just going down from like where my issues are. So that my thighs Dude, sometimes. I hate that. I've chase. gained a lot of weight this year and now I'm looking at myself and I'm like, I look like, I just wish get it in buddy the camera makes you makes you look great though to be honest with you i think it's the, it might be the angle yeah i might be the angle but like you don't you don't look like you like you look like you've always looked is what i mean it's weird i i'm i mean i have a little bit more face fat than usual but i really i just have a massive gut right now like i have like a massive 
gut. I have like a really skinny frame and just a giant fucking people, gut right now. People, and it's hard to wear shirts because like if I was bigger up here, my shirts would look good on me. But when I wear most of my shirts now, it's like straight womp straight yeah. again and i'm like come on so i gotta i gotta figure something out um so yeah there, there's some extra fat up here and in my thighs and shit but it's mostly just my belly man it's mostly just my belly people i feel like a lot of the time they uh they they, they can like s- s- get fit really quick like they can go from fat to, f- to fit really quick that is me and but i also get weird that's weird I get, so i gain and lose weight incredibly quickly and maybe that's changing because I'm getting older. I I don't know. Um, so I was, I was like really skinny when I was in college. I lived where it snowed. I walked miles every day to classes and shit. And I, I was limited on food and I walked miles through the snow half the year and miles through not snow the rest of the year. Point is I was skinny as fuck. Um, I moved back in with my parents and then I moved into my apartment with my first girlfriend and I was just not, taking care of myself. I would order, I would order like DoorDash every single, I would like wake up and make myself some kind of like eggs or something for breakfast, a pop tart, something like that. Mm. I would order DoorDash for lunch. And then for dinner, when my girlfriend would come home, we would go out to eat and I would not work out. I would literally sit in my room, my bedroom all day doing work from homework and eating out two times a day, two to three times a day. And I I gained so much weight When when I weighed myself. Um, God, I was at like, I, I, I forget what it was specifically. It was above 250, whatever it was. It was like in somewhere in that range. I did, um, things ended when you end a relationship, you want to feel good about yourself mm-hmm. physically. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So I did, um, the keto diet for a bit and I just went running. Um, and I pretty sure I lost those 50 pounds in like a m- month and a half to two months. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, I, but it was not healthy. Like, I want to preface this. Like, that sounds like I'm saying some awesome, like, success story. It's not. Like, that was not healthy yeah. weight loss. Um, and then I moved back in with my parents after that, and I gained a bunch of weight back. During COVID, I started working out. I was, like, super in shape, and then now I'm here. So Yeah, my, my body, um, I'm, I'm, like, 260 or 270 at this point. Um, I don't, I don't, I'm very... I will say, and for my own credit, I don't think I look it. I feel like I'm very dense with fat. I feel you like have I'm, a good frame. Like, I don't mean this in a bad way. You have a good frame to be fat. Right. No, yeah. I'm not saying you are fat. I'm just no, saying. I, 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 I think like, exactly what you're saying. And I, I, and I agree. Yeah. I think that I definitely like bro titties, but that's also part of the low T thing. I don't know. Who knows? I think that my, my mental health, you know, COVID and beyond, like mm-hmm. I gained the weight during COVID, which is common i was the opposite i lost all of my weight during covid because in arizona they kept the gyms open so all i had was to go to the gym yeah and i just dieted and for all of 2020 i just was on a diet and worked out like five days out of the week like every day for like 2020 but 2021 i got covid I, I forget what the timeline is here, but I got, but I got COVID and that just screwed me over. Cause I never went back to the gym after yeah. I got COVID. So I think my mental health affects my body weight a lot. I think that I gained most of it after starting working from home. Mm. Uh, well actually, no, even when I was in the office and I was moving a lot, um, I would gain weight. So I think I have like, uh, I can know a lot of people lose stress. weight. I know. Yeah. I know that people lose weight for, with stress. I feel like I'm kind of doing the opposite. I don't know if it's that or something else. It's real. I think, um, I think that's been studied. Maybe I'm wrong. Well, I noticed, and this is like, this is going to come off as like almost cute, but I don't mean for it to be. This is just an observation. After I spend time with Alexis, we can eat horribly, do anything, be be absolutely disgusting, degenerate people and and eat, just eat purely like fucking Chick-fil-A. I lose weight after like a week. I'll lose like five pounds in a week. Dude. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because my gut biome, people talk about that. People talk about gut biomes. Isn't that something? I don't know what that, isn't that, a, I don't isn't know what that, that means. Do you not? It's, no. like, it's a real thing. I, I'm, I'm being facetious, but you have all these little critters in your stomach, right? Um, you, you have bacteria that lives in your stomach right. that helps you digest food right. and helps regulate certain things within your body. Yeah. The theory is, and I think it's somewhat true or has been proven to be true in some, what, some way, that a lot of your nutrition and feeling good about yourself is not 
putting stuff into your body that um, le- makes sense for your body, but oftentimes it is for the bacteria that lives inside of your gut, right? Like if you culture a certain type of gut bacteria, this sounds stupid when I'm explaining it, but it's real science yeah, yeah. you can look up. But like the and the bacteria that lives in your gut, if you eat certain things, it does different things to that bacteria. Mm. And it might not necessarily be that food that is healthy for you, healthier for you is working. It could be food that is creating a healthy gut biome is what they call it can help you. Hmm. But I think a lot of this is tied to like, um, routine. Like I think a lot of times, like if your body is used to eating and breaking down a certain type of food, it continues to be easier to do that. Maybe I'm wrong. I am not a scientist or a doctor. I'm just regurgitating. Hey, um, Hey, I'm just regurgitating information that is passively going through my mind. Um, what was I going to say about the gut biome though? Oh yeah. If you're just used to eating a bunch of junk food all the time and then you eat healthy, perhaps your body's not used to breaking it down. You switch back to the thing you're familiar with. Your body breaks it down easier. What's weird. I don't know. What's funny that you, it's funny that you say that because I did try to diet at one point. Cause I think I hit 260 and I was like, yikes. Um, yikes. So I tried doing my like light workouts because I don't have any stamina. And, and I'm also tired all the time. Like I can't do more than that. I, I, it will ruin the rest of my day. Um, and I tried eating better. I, uh, but I was on a routine of eating things that I normally didn't eat, like fucking salads every day and shit like that. And I also, well, I think a big thing for me, I, I, I used to have so much sugar in my coffee. I would use coffee mate and mm. you know, like shit is packed with sugar. So I, I, or I, a sugar substitute, which is equally bad for you. I well, yeah. Well, I dropped, I dropped coffee mate and I started using equal, which like you said, bad for you yeah, in different ways. Yeah. But at my coffee, I, I do two to three equal in it, which is one like 10th of how I was having my coffee mate. Um, but like, I, I changed a lot of stuff up and it didn't really, it plateaued me and then I stopped doing it and then I was still plateaued. So it didn't really help. Um, Interesting. And I, that, I mean, the, the rapid weight gain is what gave me the GERD. The funny, the funny, funny little GERD joke. But maybe I got to calm down. Maybe I got to be more normal. Well, if you have GERD too, diet. if you have GERD too, that'll be fucking hilarious. The it's GERD possible because I get a lot of acid that'll reflux be regurgitated. as I'm getting older. That will be yeah. regurgitated. That would be great. We'll have to change the name. Yeah. GERDs only. We'd have to. Yeah. No GERDs allowed. Um, that's good branding. That is really good branding. But we, we are going to get a t-shirt. No only, GERDs allowed. It is only GERDs allowed, though. So uh, that's the problem. Yeah. <laughs> only. Yeah. Well, I don't know. We can do something with no it. No non-GERDs allowed. No. GERDs. Um, all right. Whatever. I was going to say I experienced something similar, though, where I'll eat. I, I mean, my diet's horrible right now. It is. It was horrible before I started my job. But now that I'm at my job, I'm like actually eating out like every day. Yeah. Yeah. Um, in the few days where I'm like, oh, I'm going to be better for myself, I wake up feeling bloated. Hmm. Like I'm physically like I can see my stomach is larger hmm. from eating healthier foods. People say that a lot. No. I never noticed that myself. Maybe it's the type of healthy foods I'm eating. Maybe it's, again, your routine. I'm not sure. I don't know. You want to make a joke about that? What's funny about that? Uh, low fat. You got, yeah, you got fat. You got bloat. Got vegetables, health, fast food. What, are they, what, are, what, do what is the call, overlap here? Okay, what do you call? What is the hardest part of a fat? What is the hardest part of a vegetable? What is the hardest part of a fat, fat a blo- a fat bloating vegetable with GERD? The eggplant. The eggplant because we're. Well, it's the hardest part <laughs> of the, 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 the vegetable part because it's yeah. We're uh, we're fat. We only eat meat, bro. I had Johnny Rockets. That shit sucks. Penis. I'll say it. Yeah, there's a lot of them out here. I've never. Um. I. I, Well, I went to one one time, but I don't go to them frequently. I I had Johnny Rockets. They're 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 smoothie or shake, whatever. Amazing. And then I had their burger, and I'm like, what the mid was this? It was like a Steiner food. I I said the overall experience because of the almost almost entirely because of the shake. Seven out of ten. The the meat on the fucking burger was like a four out of ten. The burger overall was like a five out of ten at max. What the fuck? How do you fuck up a burger that bag? Bad bad. 
<laughs> and I told I had that a bad to, burger at I, Sonic. I told that to I had like, a burger that ooh. I didn't want to finish at Sonic. I don't know why. I've never had. I was a, like, how do you mess up a burger? I've I only didn't like it. I've only had one. And so I've only had a one drink from Sonic ever. The drinks at Sonic are good. The ocean water the food, or something though. like that. No, nah, I had a milkshake. Ooh. Um. I I Alexis asked me. She's like, "What about that burger could be better? Like, what is a better burger than that?" And I'm like, any bar burger is like by default so much better. Like, bar burgers are so fucking good, right? Um, but I'm trying to think. Like, what is the best burger you've ever had? Like, where do you, where do you, would you get it? I'm fucking up today. I said burger, not um, booger. Um, I made a funny joke. I made a funny joke. Was that not a funny joke? Maybe maybe presentation or it could have landed a little bit differently, but uh, burger booger. Go ahead. Earlier earlier in the this show, not this show, but the, the this podcast. You have a booger on your finger, on your thumb. No, that's not a booger. That's a that's like a piece of the tissue. Uh, booger tissue finger. <laughs> Go ahead. You had asked earlier in this podcast, not this episode specifically, but earlier in the show in general. What is your favorite genre of burger? What did you get wrong about that? You said something about the genre of burger. I said that. So today? What is your favorite genre? No, not today. Oh. Like months ago, on the show. Yeah. It was, what is your favorite like bar burger, f- fast food burger? Yeah, because you, you asked it as genre of burger and you stopped yourself and you're like, this doesn't make any sense. What ge- uh, genre of, <laughs> I don't know if that's the right term, what genre of place sells the correct burgers? I mean, that 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 would have been, a, okay, my opinion. Genre of place <laughs> sells the correct you'll, burgers. You'll get, what did I say? Yeah, no. What's my favorite burger ever? Yeah. I want that just shot out of my nose, dude. What the heck? Um, All right, make a funnier booger joke than me. Go ahead. No, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Go ahead. No, no, it's not funnier. It's not funnier. He's funnier. He's funnier. He has fun ears. Um, Alexis said that my head looks like a toenail. Is that true? Like the, this, is like, this is like the rim, looks like a toenail. It's like the rim of a toe, and then here's like um, the nail part. It's like they're dipping their toe in some water. Sure. Anyway. Burger, go ahead. I don't know what my favorite burger I've ever had is. I like the Five Guys burger. That's like in and pretty good. Like that's like peak fast food. It's like the Five Guys burger, right? The McDonald's burger is a classic. It's not the best, but it's a classic. The thing about McDonald's um, is it's consistent. That's consistency is key for me. That's why I would always go back to McDonald's. Go ahead. No, you're absolutely right. The thing about McDonald's is it doesn't have to taste good. It has to taste like how you remember it. It's selling nostalgia to you. Yep. Yep. Um, I don't know. I'm sure I've had a burger at like a real restaurant that's blew, blown my freaking mind, but not to the point where I remember it. I don't think there's a single burger that stands out to me as like, oh, I got to go back there and get that burger. Really? You know, like burgers more like a chain food style thing to me, you know? Okay. So when you go to like a bar, you're not going to get a burger with your food, I might, with your drink. I mean, but that's like uh, a, a bar is different. The point is, if I go to like a sit down restaurant, I'm not like ordering a burger. Really? I mean, I, I might, but it depends like, on, I guess it depends on the restaurant, gonna, obviously. The, I, let me rephrase that. The burger won't be the item that stands out to me. I will order it if I want a burger and I'm sure it will be good, but I'm not going to remember them as like the signature burger place. I think that I dis- disagree. I think that is my like default, like fallback option is the burger. Almost always. No, it, it, it is. I do. I will order the burger. I like the burger. I order a lot of burgers. I'm just saying, like, to me, the burgers that stand out to me in my mind are the chain restaurants yeah. or the greasy little yeah. surly bars that you're talking about. Yeah. I, you know, I'll go to a steakhouse and order a burger and it is good. But I'm not going to sit there and say any one of them were my favorites, nor do I even remember a lot of them. How about a how about a pizza chain? Give me your favorite. I have a controversial pin, opinion. First of all, East Coast pizza is better than West Coast pizza in the Southwest. It, it There's no really like, to find great pizza out here, it's like fancy pizza. You know what I mean? Like the chain pizza spots out here are mid compared to the East Coast where like every little town really? has a banger pizza spot. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's fine. It's fine out here, but it's not great unless you go to like a fancy place. Um One of the most famous pizzerias in the world is in Phoenix, Arizona. It's called a Pizzeria Bianco. 
I went there for my 21st birthday and like a couple months ago. It's fancy pizza. It's like a three hour wait. Um, and it pissed people off to say that that was the best pizza in the, in the world, but some food critic said that or something. It's really good, but I have an even hotter take than that. If you go up to Cottonwood, Arizona, Cottonwood, Cottonwood. like two to three, well, it's like an hour and a half to two hours north of Phoenix, smaller town. There's a family there that owns a bunch of restaurants that are really good. They own like the Colt Barbecue and mm. there's like Crema Cafe and they own a bunch of restaurants that are all really good up in Cottonwood. But it's it's unassuming. Like you wouldn't think of Cottonwood as being a place that would have amazing food like that. But there's this restaurant owned by those people called Bocce. That's all I'll say. Flaming it is, pizza? Oh, it's, it's the best I've ever had. Oh, yeah, there's a place. Lido's pizza. Lido's pizza in the Maryland area is my favorite because it's what I grew up eating. But the the best pizza I've had, Cottonwood, Arizona. I don't make the rules. I think the best pizza I've ever had is like a 15 minute drive away from me. Unironically, interesting. It is, it is a great, oh fucking full of fire pizza place. It is so fucking good. But I more I more meant chain like industry chain like a pizza hut domino's papa john's kind of deal do you have a do you have a, a preference on that i think domino's is the worst shit on the fucking planet i'll just say when it. when was the last time you had domino's two days ago oh domino's used to be shit for me but they did that rebrand thing and i like it now the domino's pan pizza is probably my favorite chain pizza i hate it pizza hut sucks now pizza hut sucks now papa john's has always been eh i i hated i i hated everything about domino's the other night i mean you know, actually, that's not true. I'm I'm being too harsh. The garlic knots kind of kind of bang. They kind of bang. I'll be honest. They kind of bang. Upper upstate New York, it kind of bangs. Upstate New York has kind of banging uh, uh, garlic knots. Okay. It's New York, it better. Right. Um. But I had the pizza. It was just. Ugh, ugh, I hate it. I had like three. I had two you want to Oh, Domino's. I was yeah. gonna say, do you want a name drop? But then no. I was like, no, it's fucking Domino's. Two or three, two or three pieces, and I was just like, oh, I feel like shit. That was awful. Hated it. It tasted bad and didn't make me feel good. I haven't had Pizza Hut in a while, to be honest. Papa John's, I had not every, great. Every, Papa John's it used is like, to be great. Papa John's is an easy pizza. I remember it's, it's fine. When we used to go to college, I used to go to uh, college kickbacks. That would be kind of the. It would, there was one down the street, and we would just get delivery, and they would deliver it right to the. In front of the build the dorm building we were in, that was kind of it was consistently meh, which is I again consistency is key. I'd rather have consistently meh. Domino's is not consistent. It's either bad or meh, and I would rather it just always be meh, bad Get or the always pan be meh. next time. I don't know Get if I did. Pan next Probably time. Not. Um, it's worth it. What, are, what, um, what other Caesars ones are there? Underrated. Well, little Caesars never had. You never had a Little Caesars. No, nope. underrated. Aren't they? Isn't that the the place where people fight? It's more like a Waffle House. Them, yeah, they're too. I thought like people were like there was like five. I'm sure they have five dollar pizzas, and then people would fight over it. I don't think they fight over it. Not I mean, I'm sure it, that's but happened. Fight, but at it, yeah, whatever. But yeah, um, Little Caesars dinner and tournament. Have you ever been to a Waffle House? That sounds like yeah. delicious to me, but I I've only heard bad things about Waffle House ever. Oh, um, I love Waffle House. I grew up eating Waffle House, um, but it is not good but I love it. Is that like the Denny's kind of deal where it's like Denny's is times 11. It's really? like, it's always dirty. You know what I mean? It's, it's where fights happen. It's just a place in the South. I mean, it's growing, but like, that's where it's from. Yeah. But like in my mind, it's like middle of nowhere <laughs> in the South. You walk in and it's dirty. The waitress is like been smoking cigarettes for the past 50 years Cooking you up some eggs, some drip coffee, a waffle. That like do you sounds want it smothered. Do you want it covered? Do you want it chunked? It's on the menu, by the way. I've never had this. I, the only I've only ever seen. I think there's one on Waffle House I really wanted to go to because I thought, unironically, thought it was bougie because of uh, the specific place in North you Carolina. Thought waffle House was bougie. This is a, this is way before like the fights meme came to be. No, it's like, always been like that, dude. Oh, I don't know. This was like this was like 2018. I was like, Waffle House sounds like fucking fire. And I was in North Carolina, and it was this really nice, like it was really well uh, uh, repre- uh, presented. And uh, we never went uh, because I heard it was mid. But I would, I would have, I was so excited for it. And then I heard that it's all where all the fights and shit happened. So did not go. Never have been gone. But Denny's, 
I had a, I have a story about Denny's. The same college with the Papa John's. I was, I think we were giving my buddy a TV or like a mini fridge or something. It was a big thing. So we we brought the mini fridge. I think it was a mini fridge up to his dorm, and then uh, we went to Denny's. So okay, so what happened? We we brought the mini fridge up to his dorm, hung out for the night. When the morning went to Denny's, my brother in Christ, that that Denny's was we had it and I had, I think it was the coffee. Everybody was holding their shit in their ass. It was diarrhea. It was like horrible diarrhea time. Luckily, my buddy who went to the college. It was time to go. It was time to go. It was time to let your ass loose. Tell you what, um, my buddy, he went up to his dorm and he was able to shit immediately. Fucking lucky bitch. But me, me me and my buddy were, you know, 20 minutes into a 45 minute ride or maybe even 50 minute ride. And we're like, we both have to really, like, we really both have to shit like very badly. Uh, and we get back and I think I blew that. I think I blew up that toilet. I think you that painted I, the bowl. Well, it wasn't even a paint the bowl situation because it was mostly liquid. It was like, you know, you know, the shit that is like you soaked the bowl. Yeah. It's like, you know, the shits that are like ha- literally half water, half shit. Where it's like a gross cereal, <laughs> cursed cereal, cursed cereal. <laughs> yeah, that it was. It was one of those situations. It was bad. It was really bad. The, the, but I love Denny's for the, <laughs> the fact that they have the Grand Slam or whatever. Yeah, and that Chick Fil A is also a Wikipedia page on racist Denny's incidents. Do you remember what you were talking about? No, Denny's, I, Denny's I, racist, and then you said um, um, some other like restaurant Denny's. briefly. I like Denny's and I forgot where we went from there. You mentioned some other restaurant briefly. You're going to go back and edit this and be like, oh, fuck. I remember that. I remember it now. Denny's just at the Grand Slam. (laughs) Diarrhea. I had something I don't remember. That's um, crazy, dude. Yeah, I've had diarrhea before. Oh yeah, you were um, you were squirting. Squirt- You're a squirter. I'm a, I'm a squirt. I'm a little bit of a squirter. Um, they say squirts pee. Actually, we found out today that it's um a number two. Yeah, didn't you do that uh, in a urinal? You you squirted. You said in the last episode no, that was that wasn't that wasn't liquid, dude. But oh. it did have propulsion oh, to t- set me take off. The cursed cereal that I had. It's two dudes talking about shit for two hours. Yeah, not poop though. It's great. What there's a difference, yeah. Very um, mature. Yeah. Uh man. You have any we we talk I feel like we talked about everything. I don't know where to start. We talked about everything. Yeah. I mean we're already like th- we're three hours in, maybe cut down half uh, half of that. I think we I think we're good. You think we're good? Do you have anything to do? <clears throat> no. You know, it's funny. I complained for weeks about like, oh, I have all these bits. I have all these bit ideas, but there were just too many people joining to properly get them done. Then you and I start we, two episodes in a row. It's mostly just us. Not really any bits. Well, we can do polls. polls. Do you want to run through polls? Yeah. I don't know what you want me to do, but yeah. Okay. Are you all ready? Right. I'm ready. If you don't know, we have a second channel where we do clips and a part of that channel, we post polls to get to, to, to see what people like. Right. Isn't that right, Ben? That's right. Zach. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna run through polls and I'm gonna I'm gonna see what people wa- want. Want. Yep. Okay. So would you rather sleep double the amount of time you currently do or half as much? Was one of the questions. Wait, can I can I answer these questions? Because I haven't I've have yeah. not touched any of them. Uh double. Definitely. That's what most people said. Most people said 78% of people <clears throat> said wait, wait. they would rather sleep Situation. double. Do you get the same amount of rest? You know, I was wondering that as I was writing it out, and I intentionally left it out because I'm lazy. Okay, so I, I will say double if, I, if I'm getting a proportional amount of rest. Half if I get the same amount of rest and I, and I could do more during the day. Okay, that's all. Go ahead. Corporate is throwing a pizza party. What are you ordering for the whole team? We got the Mick Pizza, New Zealand Kiwi Pizza, Getty Pizza, and the throw in the towel. I, you don't have to answer this one because you can't see it. I mean, no, I want the I want the Mick Pizza. I, I trust McDonald's. Well, that's what most what most people said. Seventy five percent of people right. said they'd rather have the Mick Pizza. Right. <laughs> 
Oh no. Oh. Uh, um. What the heck is going on? Is that open ended? We had <laughs> okay. we had doing fine. Thanks. Cringe. On fire and forward this to three friends to totally troll them. I think that for thematically for this episode we should do cringe. Actually, zero people voted for that. You goob. Okay. You What's goob. Up, we're doing we're doing polls. We're about to we're about to end, but we're doing polls. We're talking about polls. I got a poll right here for you. Oh wow! Hey, um, <laughs> my ancestors in Germany um, caught a few polls in their time. Mm. Go ahead. Next question. You want me to leave? No, stay. No, no stay. Into no, the polls. no, no. It's been a while since. Well, the next one again is an image-based thing. What's for supper? Banana Holland, meat glue, or spaghettio? That one was spaghettio. Are, spaghetti any, those, are any of those vegan options? They're mostly pictures. They're mostly pictures. Actually, um, I don't know. Banana Holland might have a ham on it. Do you want me to just do text ones? There's some people in the waiting room. Yeah, sure. Oh, there are people in the waiting room. Oh my god! Oh my goodness! Uh, I felt like I felt like this was going to happen. I kind of figured this was going to happen. Oh, David went back to the waiting room. Did what? (laughs) Hey, dude! You really had to wait. Yep. We as soon as (laughs) we get as soon as we get a bit started, we get a bunch of people joining. That's fine. I knew it was going to happen. That's ironic. That's very ironic. I love it. (laughs) We'll cut it. We'll save more for another time. No, no, keep going. No, well, no, because most of them are images too, so it doesn't even work in this setting. You know, plus it saves something for another episode too. Uh, Yeah, I guess. (laughs) David, no, he can't come back. It was it was somewhat passable. It was somewhat passable when when it was just you and me. When it was like, ah, you fucking put it in the edit, but. I'm not playing a game with five people where they can't see anything. Well, I feel like we know? can get some good discussions going, like if, at least with the text-based ones. There's not many. Okay, so you what's can going- screen share if you want the community post. Oh, I figured it, David figured it out. I thought I thought you guys moved me out. No, you moved you out. I think. <laughs> hey, David. <laughs> what are you drinking? You got the. I just got the copper mug. Uh, it's water. It's just water. <laughs> you drink in water. Can you out show of me? Yeah. Show me the water. Yeah, sure. Don't and don't spill any. Right here. That's a different <laughs> <your> water, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> we were just going over. We were going over polls, and I, well, you wanted to know what's going on. What the heck is going? What, what the heck is going on? Right. Oh, what the heck is what the what the heck is going on? Yeah. What, are you um? Are you doing fine? Thanks. Are you cringe? Are you on fire or are you forward this to three friends to totally troll them? Anybody? Wait, oh, where is this? The the one? Please share your screen <laughs> for this if you want to continue. We talking about? <laughs> we were, so, we're, so Zach posts polls onto our clips channel and okay. it's just like bu- bullshit. It's to get the algorithm putting us up, yeah, yeah. putting our numbers up. Spoiler. Hey, they're fun. They're yeah, fun they for people. Fun. But people we, like we were just them. going over what our answers would be and then everybody piled in. So I, I think it was a, it was a perfect. Um, I, I, I'd send it to four friends to troll them. Ha, you know what's funny? I was actually three, but you guys were. Does playing, that change your answer if it's just three? Mm. <laughs> no, like it does. All right. Um. So it was funny because yes. I was. You would you would change your answer? <laughs> yeah. What friends would you send it to? Tell me. What friends? Uh, let's see. Um, my mom. Um, <laughs> you would troll your mom. All right. You would troll your that, mom. I do that all the time. My mom will call me, and then she's like, "What's up?" And I'm like, "Heroin." <laughs> <laughs> did you put the bandage on your nose to like look tough right before you joined, or did you? Yeah, you know, you everyone asks me that at work, and no, it's for my allergies. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 It like, it like expands your nostrils or something, right? Yeah. Is that true? I wear them before bed. I just didn't think you were doing a podcast tonight, um, and I forgot oh, you. So. It's funny that you guys joined because I, we were just about to, we were going to do polls and end. And then I was going to invite Zach if he wanted to play some Halo with the boys. And then all the boys who were playing Halo joined here. So, um, so better than Halo. Left oh, for Dead 2. Oh, were you, wait, were, were you only playing Halo? No. We were nope. playing Halo. We were playing Halo, but Left 4 Dead 2. Is, it's been highly talked to, to do highly Left 4 Dead 2. I know David wants to. I always want to play Left 4 Dead 2. Yeah, David looks like the I kind of guy. I don't remember the last yeah, time we played him. it. Yes, you do. I, I don't. Do you not? I, I know I played it. I don't remember any of it. Oh. <laughs> Wait, was that the one where we played Kesha the entire time? Probably. Yeah, I don't know. 
Um, yeah, the, <laughs> the the this it's been like three hours of episode, and then you guys joined in, and there's been like four different cuts where we just been gone and done our own shit, and then everybody everybody piled in. Sean, you look fucking crazy. Fun. Are you on your new camera, Sean, or no? Are you on your piss? I was gonna ask that too. He's acting like he's lagging. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, the camera's in my car. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> that was a, that was second one was better. That was, yeah, that was, that, that was actually, you stopped yourself really good. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So you want to talk about D and D, Sean? Oh wait, that's the second time someone's brought this up. What is there something going on in the background that you guys are making fun of me for? No, it could be good though. D and D's nuts. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You guys want to start a D and D? Oh, dude, a D and D campaign for regurgitated? Yeah. That would go. Yeah, that would and go we nuts. can get someone to animate it. You know, it'll be, it'll be great. <laughs> we uh, we were actually talking about like what we could and couldn't do, like because we we had because he uh, Zach hasn't played Minecraft in like yeah he said like eight years. Yeah, we can we can a play this. Time. We can do this campaign, you guys. Storm King's uh, Let's Thunder. Do Storm this King's is, Thunder campaign. This is for a level one through eleven. This is a pretty. I'm good level campaign. one. Yeah. Wait, Zach, thoughts? I don't know what that is. All right. So we were talking about doing a, a like highly edited like Minecraft Let's Play just for funsies. This looks just like a one-off. Mom. Doesn't this look like Ben's mom? Can anybody like confirm? That. I don't know what she looks like, but yeah, sure. This kind of look like Ben's <laughs> yeah, mom. Drawing Zach earlier said, "Fuck your mom." I did. My mom? <laughs> I did. Yeah, your mom. Yeah, <laughs> Sean's your mom. mom? <laughs> yeah. um, That's what I really I would, meant. I would like to say Ben's mom. <laughs> I see Zach. Remember when I said when you said "fuck your mom" and I said most of my friends say that, and I wanna before that. That I don't. That that is a thing. Back. Yeah, that is a thing. That definitely happens. Um, guys, are you guys drinking tonight? No. Nope. Sober. D- no, David definitely is. <laughs> David, what, what but, the but fuck? But he's he's pretending to be more drunk than he is. That's <laughs> I'm acting. Yeah, I'm acting it. David, what the fuck was in that? What is in that cup? What is in that cup? It's, it's a Moscow no, mule. My, my I was gonna say, you know what you put in a copper cup. Normally, it would be this. I did buy it from Moscow mules, but recently I've switched to Celsius and vodka. What is Celsius? Celsius? What is so that? That's like, that's like, yeah, it's like a drink. Yeah. Okay. It's got like way too much uh, caffeine to be healthy to mix with that. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, do you just like what do you do? Do you, do you, you remember when I drank coffee? <laughs> no, no, no. Do you remember what? when I, I had coffee at Brian's, but I was also drinking, <laughs> like I was just <laughs> vibrating. Oh, you guys were you guys were fucking playing uh, the Mega Man or Sonic yes. or whatever the fuck. And I was Sonic. just like, sh- yeah, I was just like shaking, and I'm like, guys, the, the screen's way too bright. I can't handle this. Yeah, yeah, you have you have weird reactions. I feel like I've done that a million times. Not drink that much, but I don't. But do you drink? You drink coffee normally, don't you, Sean? No, I haven't had coffee. To, uh, I haven't had like serious coffee in a, in a long time. I like you haven't had shit. serious coffee. <laughs> don't yeah, the like, fake so- shit. I make it for Haley, and then problem. I take like yeah, a, a, a no, couple swallows. I, I'll have a goofy latte, thank you. <laughs> you me trying to order, <laughs> me trying latte. to order, me trying to order a serious latte, a very goofy latte. You look very serious when you ask that. When you when you say that, when was the last time you had Starbucks, Zach? There's a Starbucks connected to my job, and we go every day. What'd you get? Every day. Pretty much, I need to. I need to cut back. So this is why millennials stop. can't buy houses. Oh, Isn't it like a one yeah. Starbucks coffee like eight dollars? Like it's fucking ridiculous. It's like it depends on what you get. Mine's usually like five or six bucks, but still more expensive than yeah. I care to admit. Um, I'm j- I've just been lazy. My time has been taken up doing stuff outside of work. Yeah. Um, so I've not like. I mean, I have time, but that time is like I'm being very lazy. Yeah. The last thing I got at Starbucks. Um, what was the last thing I got? Probably just a. Just a, just a chocolate coffee. Just a cafe mocha. I don't like I, mocha. I usually mix it up. When you put I, don't like Swiss mocha? Mist, when I, you put I also buy a coffee. lot of... Ooh. What, John? You ever put uh, hot chocolate mix in your coffee? Yeah, that's, that's yeah. Like, but that, that's a different yeah. mocha. No, mocha is not... I, I, I refuse to think that mocha is chocolate. It does not taste like chocolate to me. Yeah, it's chocolate and coffee. It tastes... Yeah. It, it's bullshit. It's fake and it's ass. It tastes like ass. It sucks. I've been drinking a lot of their cold brews. Recently, the salted cream, yeah, salted yeah, caramel, yeah, yeah. cold. Yeah, salted good. caramel is very the, good. I like that a lot. The caramel cinnamon. Mm. Alexis, ex, ex, she specifically told me not to do cold brews from Starbucks because they are bitter, and I don't like bitter. I mean, yeah, I guess but I when you have the foam added, on it, yeah, I guess. Yeah. What do you? What were you trying to say, Barney? Before about coffee? 
You I said think he something. said he was going to buy a lot of them. Good question. <laughs> he already forgot. <laughs> Zach, you said you uh, you found some Dutch Bros, right? You were talking about that at some point. Yeah, I, I wish I still had my cup. I went there earlier today. Have you ever? They they still have the drink, the nine one one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a staple menu. I item. went there one time and I was ordering, and uh, my friend said, "You should, oh, you should try the nine eleven. And uh, so I, I, I got up to the, the dude standing outside the window and said, hey, can I get a 911, please? <laughs> and uh, I didn't realize how bad he got me until uh, the worker in his, you know, pink shirt with his dyed hair uh, was like, uh, you mean the 911? Ben, when we were That's at, um, what? When, when we were at RTX, me and Ethan and a few other people were staying in the hotel room across the street. There was like a burger stand. I don't know how else to describe this. It's like inside the building, there's a burger restaurant and on the street where you're walking by, they have a window where you can also buy burgers. So me and Ethan buy a burger and he gets a drink and she asks him, what, what do you want to drink? And he says, surprise me. And she looks at him dead in the face and says, suicide. What? <laughs> and Ethan lost what? it. He was fucking dying. You don't know what a suicide is. He, it's when you get all the drinks at once. Like every drink in the oh fountain okay. drink you put together. Oh, okay. Yeah. I would have literally meant to it. Like I would. Yeah, that's I would what he thought too. He lost it. He was like, he, yeah. That's. I don't feel like that's a common term. <laughs> I knew about it. Okay. Do, you know, did you guys ever? Yeah. This this fountain right, soda. Did right, you guys ever right. do that? Right. That's what I'm talking about. Right. Yeah. I know. Yeah. The seltzers always made it awful. Sorry, Bry. The seltzers always made it awful. Right. Am I wrong? <laughs> Seltzer? Oh, the <laughs> club soda thing? Adding, yeah, adding like seltzer it, yeah. to the mixture always made it so much worse. Just no, it was general, mostly uh, me coming garbage. back to the table and my dad being like, what the fuck did you just do? <laughs> that was what, made, that's what ruined the enjoyment. It's, it's not going to be good. It's not going to be good. It, no, it was never I good, like, but the uh, seltzer made no. it so much worse. So you know, much but worse. What, what I liked is the, the Coca-Cola dispensers where you could hit the bubbles for which, you know, the, like they had the Yeah, circles. the um, freestyle machines. Yeah, the freestyle machines are very fun for me. Yeah. What are freestyle? Man? Oh, the, the, the oh, 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 futuristic I know Coke. The, yeah. the ones that the five, ones guys five guys has. Yep. Ah, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yep. I know exactly what you're talking about. Five. Okay, five. Uh, I asked. I asked this question. No, funny earlier. enough, I was almost the sixth guy. <laughs> Is that <laughs> the I best allow, joke? Dude. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, <laughs> it's not bad. It's not bad. What? What is? What is? The, what is? <laughs> what is? What is the best uh, bur- uh, fast food burger? Hit me with it. Go. Opinions. Give me. You know what I miss? I the well, I don't miss it. But what All I right. liked when I, when I what I liked when I was not vegan was the Wendy's fish fillet. Never had it. That's not a burger. Wendy's burger is pretty good. You That's not, not a, burger. a burger. A fish That's, burger. No, that's, I, that's not. Yeah, you, that's you a fish sandwich. Yeah, I never know what you guys. That's are like saying, "What's about. the best burger?" And I was like, "It's a fish, like it's a chicken sandwich." <laughs> that, so, so burgers have to be beef. Yeah, yeah. My yeah, favorite yeah, burger is probably definitely. the six-piece chicken McNugget. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, I'm sorry, dude. Sorry, dude. All right, so, what's your favorite burger? I never really ate the. Um, you know, uh, uh, Red Robin had good burgers. Never been to Red Robin. The, that's I wouldn't call that. Okay, Red Robin does have good burgers. That's oh, weird. true. It's not fast food. I I hated fast food except for the spicy chicken nuggets from Wendy's and the fish fillet from Wendy's. Really? And and you the frosty palate, my friend. And the frosty from Wendy's. <laughs> I live near a Wendy's. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> um, I mean, what did you? Out of all the burgers, I'm I'm gonna have to go with Wendy's. Is Five Wendy's Guys fast food well. is like good? Five Guys would be fast food variety. Yeah, what, if Five Guys like, is fast food. Five they guys, have the best tasting burger, but they're too overpriced. I was about to say the price kills it for me. Yeah, it's yeah, but I just, I, just, I just get a large Cajun fry. I know I'm talking to some simpletons right now, but the the <laughs> In and Out has the best deal. It's I wouldn't say it's my favorite burger, but it has the best deal. The price to quality ratio. I think In and Out is okay, but I would say it's overhyped. At least where I live, it is overhyped because the line is overhyped. so long that. It might be worth the money, but it's not worth waiting 30 minutes for a an okay burger. I did not realize the space bar turns your camera off. I didn't know that either. Um, wait, don't wait. Uh, pause. Can we just don't Zach in where do you wait? Where do you live, David? Uh, Tucson. Yeah, this, yeah you, you guys live right next to one another. So you guys have wait, the same you live experience. In Tucson? Yeah, you're in Phoenix. Oh, yeah, right? I'm, yeah, I'm in Phoenix. Yep. I was in Tucson this weekend. 
this past oh, weekend. Oh, thanks for saying hi. <laughs> I didn't know you existed down there. <laughs> <laughs> might have walked by each other. That's true. Well, we, might, we might have. You guys have. So, I was actually at work. You guys definitely have the same exact like in and out experience than I would think, right? Probably. Maybe. I think Phoenix got theirs a bit before. It's kind of like, do you remember when Connecticut got the first five guys and it was not like the first, but the first one in Connecticut and it was a huge deal and everyone was yeah, I do jumping that. over each other to get to it? No. Oh. Yeah, I, remember, well, I remember that. That happened with Sonic, too. Yeah. I don't That's remember that like, at all. I think the end and out here opened relatively recently, so there was always a line out to the street from the uh, from the drive through which no, I think line, that's why I hate it, just on principle. You guys ever have yeah. Whataburger? I like yeah, it. I don't like it. I don't care for it. I've never had it. No. I think you it's guys, okay, but you have to be in the mood for it. It's not like you're in the mood for a burger and you choose Whataburger. You have to be in the mood for Whataburger. And then you go to Whataburger. Fair enough. And you Dr. Pepper okay really I've only good. been twice. And you have to be okay with animal abuse, but that's... <laughs> Which we all are, seemingly. We'll get Crow on this podcast, I promise. Dude, I was really thinking about that, how we can make the intro to that today. Oh, uh, Steve told me he doesn't... Uh, I, I think Steve told me he doesn't hunt crow much anymore. Fuck. We gotta get him to hunt one more, just for the video. Steve never hunts crow at all. He said he does. He said so he was one many... of the last registered crow hunters yeah. in the state of Connecticut, was what he said. So how many animals do I have to kill to get on the podcast? <laughs> Any. I don't know. Yeah, we, yeah, we, gotta, we gotta hold As long as it's interesting... <laughs> Mine ran away actually. Well, yeah, we're good. I mean, it's probably dead. So we're probably good. Yep. <laughs> Negligence. You guys, Count you guys, me in. What was the story? What did I, What was the story? Who was it? I don't remember. Um, you guys have dogs? Yep. I know Easter. every one of you. I don't know why I'm asking. Like I I don't know. <laughs> um I don't know. I got no more topics. I've been out here for three hours. Zach, what do you got? You want to end this? Oh. Yeah. If you have if you have something to talk about, I I I I've talked. we can play Halo. We can just play Halo. We can just play yeah, Halo. Left for Dead. Left for Dead. We can play Left for Dead. I'm 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 fine with either. <laughs> what do you want to talk about, Zach? You got anything? Um, I want to debate. I want to I want to fight oh, wait, somebody. You want to debate? Wait, hold on. Oh, I want to argue for one second. I'm Zach. just drunk enough to argue about something. I yep. I think it was you, Vincent. You like Brock Hampton? Yeah. Hmm. What's Brock? Ooh, this, is, this is a top. Brock, Brock Hampton. We know some Brock Hampton boys over here. Oh yeah. So my roommate, who I'm best friends with, his <laughs> his cousin is the Brock Steve, Hampton manager. Yes, Steve. Steve. Yeah. Steve's I talked to him cousin. for like four hours after we ended that show <laughs> <laughs> that night. You guys never talked about it. No, we, it didn't come up. No. Yes, uh, Steve's cousin is the manager of Brockhampton. Is it John Nunez or something? Yeah, like who is, who is, is yes. Brockhampton? What is Brockhampton? That's him. John? Yeah. Yeah, I know, uh, like, Dom good? from Brockhampton cool. Connecti- from Connecticut, right? That's like a so, clothing store? Or? Yeah, that was like a, that was like cool. a dude that yeah. <laughs> Steve hung out with, like, when he was growing up. Interesting. Anyone else or just John? Um, yeah, do you, I, like, work the Yeah, I think it's or? Dom and John. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> They don't rhyme very well. No. <laughs> That's yeah, the one we, thing they don't do. Like, do. <laughs> can you like fold clothes for the back or like uh, make I have a I have a video of me yelling okay. at Kevin Abstract on the street. <laughs> oh, do you do? Yeah. Well, we me and Ethan went to uh the show in DC and the line was incredibly long. I I, I love you, Ben. <laughs> um I don't know, it was at the anthem. I'm going to give way too much context for this, but the parking garage is underground. It's on the waterfront in DC to get your ticket to pay for your ticket to get out. It's not a kiosk at the exit of the parking meter. It's a kiosk in the center of the um, parking garage where people like standing lined up to pay for their ticket after the show. Okay. So we were like standing up for hours for the show. And then what we were doing prior to that. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. No, it's a restaurant. It's a bur- it's where my my favorite burger is the Brockhampton burger. Um, <laughs> either way, we're, we're waiting in line for like an hour at the kiosk and like another hour okay, with the cars okay. to get out into DC. So it's okay. like an absurd amount of time. Yeah, you're for us to get now. our car it's out fun. of the, the parking garage in downtown DC. So I, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm in the back of Ethan's car. I'm just like scrolling on my phone. 
And I look up and there's just Kevin Abstract right there on the street in Washington, D.C. And I didn't believe it at first. Like my eyes were like, my eyes were like, what the fuck ever? We drive down a little bit further and I'm like, that's Kevin Abstract right there. And everyone's like, what the fuck? And then they had the same thing as me where it took them a second. Um, So I have a video of me like 20 feet away screaming, I love you (laughs) on my phone. Like the gayest little fanboy of all time. Uh, Mm. That's that. uh, That is just a funny little like. It's just an interesting thing because I've ne- I I did not give a fuck about Brockhampton. I knew that information about Steve. I did not give a fuck about Brockhampton, and then I re- I read I came up across your YouTube channel, Zach. Where oh you did, yeah, like, that weird a, like a little uh, Brockhampton inspired animation, yeah. yeah. And I was like, hold on. And then I think I think I had another video of like a I, re- I was really into them for a minute. I yeah. have ton- I actually have many pieces of merch in my closet. If I'm being honest, <laughs> yeah, it's just interesting. Um, yeah. Oh wait, me, me and Ethan are big fans. Um, by the way, uh, there are two Wiley boys in the chat right now. Da- David said, "I uh, do you guys like Johnny Rockets?" And I haven't, I haven't, I had Johnny Rockets this week, and earlier this podcast talked about how much I did not like Johnny Rockets, <laughs> <laughs> which is so weird because I have never I had Johnny you Rockets. Personal jukebox. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The you get your own little jukebox. Box. That's you probably didn't like it. Didn't bring quarters. You, um, Shady Glenn. Shady Glenn's pretty baller. That's a person. Balling. Who's Glenn? Quagmire. Oh, <laughs> that's a. Dude, you are such a dad, bro. Quagmire. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, you guys want to go see a Brockhampton concert? By the way, you can't anymore. Why? Yeah, they all died. <laughs> yeah, horrible, yeah, like horrible Leonard's rap gonna... accident. <laughs> Guys, who is Brock Hampton? I don't know. <laughs> I think they're making it up. I think it's the manager of a smoothie yeah. shop in Hartford. <laughs> <laughs> do you guys do you guys remember uh Hampton Brandon? That's no. no. He was a fucking asshole influencer in like 2013 who was just a big douchebag and would like jump on cars and shit. Like I think I hit by a car or something. Maybe I'm getting the story wrong. That's what usually happens when you jump on top of cars. <laughs> oh! Cars too, though? I jump on top of cars too. Mm. What, what, what was your favorite Cars movie, Sean? Cars too, I think. I, actually, you know, I, I, I do like... I do like Cars ca- 2 had the hottest cars. Bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just realized. I mean, go ahead. Try to try to argue that. <laughs> I just realized how much of a psychopath I am. Look at how many Brock Hampton shirts I own. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. I don't even own that many Four. normal shirts. <laughs> I own nice. Way too many fucking Brock Hampton t-shirts. That's a cool Where's one. That's Steve. Yeah, it's just Steve. This one is just I hate this one. I don't even wear it anymore. It's like early. Why don't you like it? Yeah, I, I think that's the best one. It doesn't it doesn't fit me very well. Are they like, it's like washed poorly. Are they like one. regular rap or like are they a special type of band or? Um, they're like they build themselves as a boy band for a bit, but they're like hip hop. They're definitely rap. Yeah. Are they rap? I have never heard of a Brockhampton song. I know maybe maybe one of the more popular it's ones. Like all, it's like alt poppy rap mm. type music. Yeah. I'm definitely outing myself as a certain type of person by talking about death grips at the opening of this show and showing off oh, five know, different grip? Brockhampton t-shirts. I'm seeing them live next Thursday, dude. Oh, hell yeah. In yeah? Tucson? You're in a death grip. No, they're coming to Tucson as well, too, and I thought about going to that show. Do you want to meet up at the Death Grips concert in uh, Tucson in July or June or something? Uh, what day is it? I'm, if it's on a weekend, I can't because I work weekends. Dog, I have no clue. I have no clue. <laughs> <laughs> All I know is I'm seeing them next Thursday. Nice. Dude. There's never any concerts. Every time there's a concert, it's in Mesa or Phoenix. Well, they're coming to um, the Van Buren in downtown Phoenix Thursday. And then I think they'll be in Tucson, like in the middle of the year, like June or July or something. That's cool. Actually, Ice, Ice Cube and Too Short are coming to Tucson sometime soon. Interesting. July. Oh, they scare me. What are they yeah, scared? I've been to the. Well, I, they, no mean, reason. We were talking, we were playing Halo, dude. Yeah, <laughs> yeah go ahead. We were playing Halo, and um, I, you know, obviously my catch is the, the, an elite, and I get killed, and I'm like, oh, they killed me because I'm an elite. And uh, we were talking about how the elites can't fit into the crawl spaces on some of the. You remember yeah, how yeah, like yeah, the, yeah. the model is too big? Yeah. yeah, and uh, well, I don't even remember how we got on. But basically, this is going to come out so bad. <laughs> I mean, it, it it is bad, and uh, just the fact that you can't remember the exact thing. That I, well, I can't. Well, now I just. I don't think Sean it. said the N word. 
No. <laughs> that's, that's, that's how it all kicked off. <laughs> it's not the first I've time. I've been a good boy. I've been a good boy. No, but, he's, uh, he was complaining how they, they're too tall to fit in the crawl spaces, but I, being a Halo Reach player, said, oh, but they can jump higher and run faster, right? <laughs> and can I they jump faster? Out, Wait, is that true? I don't, I at least don't in know. Invasion, they could. Yeah. And what, what are we going to say, then, Sean? And then, yeah, and then I said, Okay. <laughs> See, that's where the problem lies. <laughs> well, then I, I didn't help because I said, yeah, they can jump faster. Or, but they can't be in the crawl spaces or swim. I said they can <laughs> jump higher and run faster, but they can't swim. <laughs> I tuned out for a second to send a message Nobody and then I like, started paying attention again. Oh, okay. No, no yeah. the character's can Your them. cat is being well, so I have, fucking but, cute. Yeah, yeah your cat's Halo? killing it right now. Yeah, he, he like your, grabs your onto my shirt. Your cat is center of attention. She's over there. Imagine kissing what a boy. You do that to your hair Cringe, man. dude. What the fuck? I hey. really don't know. What happened to me? What yeah, what'd you do? Not, not what happened. <laughs> when did you do that to your hair? Not what happened. Like, That'd be like, a way meaner way to say it. Like, uh, like two weeks ago, I, I I dyed it and then I buzzed it immediately, and it looks like shit. It looks like a toe. It looks like I'm hey, why infected. Did you say, why did you decide to be uglier? I don't know. That's great. That's a really you good point. You need to get rid of the purple, brother. Yeah, it's like it's, cause this part isn't like that purple, and then this this purple That's, is just. This is the beauty of work from home. You can just mutilate yourself. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, I looked at houses with this hair, with talking to people, and I didn't realize it until I got in the car, and I was like, oh, I didn't yeah, put my hat on. They, you were like, oh, we could afford this, and like, yeah, actually, we're pumping up the price. Yeah, they want a fucking crackhead <laughs> oh, living there. Geez. Yeah, Rochester has enough crackheads. Yeah, we're gonna need you to pass a background check. That's. <laughs> That's assuming that Ben talked to anyone. You know Alexis. Yeah, Alexis did all the dirty work, 100%. Yeah. 100%. Yeah, Ben just in the back looking uh, yeah. incriminating. She was, she was <laughs> yeah, exactly. it, it was that, and then just, just Hello, like I'm, overlay I'm Alexis like, if right you need in some order. Order. <laughs> like, I'll give you the house like, for free if you leave right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um... Yeah, that was actually really successful. We did. We saw Niagara Falls. Sorry, I brought a little bit of recap. Saw Niagara Falls and the Poconos. That shit was fucking crazy. I've hey, seen Niagara Falls before. Everybody falls, bro. You can't say that. <laughs> you guys, where's, wait, where's Niagara, Niagara Falls? I thought that was it's in New York and Canada. Of... I don't know why. I, th I, thought, I thought it was in the West Coast somewhere. What the you fuck? Ever, what? What? Said, no. <laughs> I was like, how did you see Niagara Falls and the Poconos in the same week? <laughs> <laughs> have you wait? Have you not seen Niagara Falls? I assume I'm gonna say no because you think it was in the West Coast. <laughs> no, I've, I'm relatively well traveled too, so that's surprising. Where did you? Where? It, uh, just out of curiosity, where did you think it was? Uh, I probably would have. If I guessed, I would have said somewhere in like the Midwest, like Michigan or something. Or like no, well, no, but one of the square states that no one Colorado. really understands. Yeah, Colorado. It's not even probably. in America. It's technically. It's like part of it is like, wait, it's in Europe. I don't know what. <laughs> no, I don't know what. Yeah, like. Ben, the only other place. <laughs> ben went to upstate New York and ended up in Europe. Yep. So Rochester how much is of not upstate New York? Sorry. How, how much of Niagara Falls is American? I have no clue. I've never almost been. out of it. I think it's like ten percent. Like I literally think most of it is in Canada. It looks awful. I mean, com in comparison, the American side is the American side is terrible. <laughs> yeah, it, it's you just see like the side of a waterfall. Like it's not even like. Well, no, no, no. It's, it's not just that. If you're when you're in the have you have you ever been to the Canadian side? Yeah, when I was a kid. Yeah. There, there. Yeah, there's like really nice, pristine buildings. It's actually clean there. Like they like sweep and like yep. pick up trash. And like there's kiosks. There's like bathrooms and stuff. You cross over into New York, and it's like McDonald's billboards yep, yep, and like rundown yep. buildings, and like the sidewalks are full of piss. Yeah, and it's like no one even lives in that town. Yeah, so I'm like, I love that sounds like New York. It, it triggered me. Yeah. It triggered the fuck out of me when I was a kid. I would. It it was actually kind of funny because when we got there, I, we went to the the, the normal Ni uh, Niagara Falls State Park, and when we got there, we saw all we saw the uh, the. The, the mist from the, the from the from the stuff and behind the mist you could see Canada and honestly the most mind boggling spot or part about that to Alexis wasn't even the waterfall it was the fact that Canada was within like arm's reach I think it was right yeah, there you, it yeah if you could out. swim across Niagara Falls you can get right into Canada yeah you can jump you right can across swim with the waterfall if you can Ooh. if you have a, a strong enough yeah. breaststroke you can really make it up yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, what so what is I um, curiosity because we were talking about this and I didn't know the answer and we didn't look it up. What do you need to get through customs? Not much. Probably just like a passport. passport. Maybe like 20 bucks to bribe the dude. Say, so don't look in the back. It's really, it's, it's really not much. Just need a yeah, passport. Yeah. 
Especially in into Canada, like they don't give a fuck. It's, uh, well, yeah, because I, I I don't have a passport. I need to get a passport. Oh, um, you do need to get a passport. Do you want to go to another country? Need a passport. I remember. So, so the reason I went to Niagara Falls is because my dad does a lot of like, or used to. He still kind of does, but he used to do a lot of like paleontology stuff. So he did go on like fossil digs and stuff. And there's a quarry right over in Canada, in the same area as Niagara Falls. So we went there. And when we crossed the border, they're like, oh, what are you coming in for? And he's like, uh, fossils, there's a quarry. He, like, he had to tell them where he's going. And then when we're coming back, they're like, did you bring any over? And, like, and my dad was like, no. And they were like, we're going to search your trunk. And they like searched his trunk for fossils. What the fuck? <laughs> like, that's what they, they were like, because you're not, it's a Canadian property, I guess. So you can't bring... Like the Canadians killed those dinosaurs fair and square. I, I mean, I don't know. Like that that pales in the comparison to what I used to do. Go ahead. <laughs> that was the joke. No. Oh, <laughs> I don't wait, get it. Pale? <laughs> oh, paleo. Paleontology. Zach, that you're killing it. You're comparison. killing it. Yeah, paleontology. Hey, there's a. There's a um, yeah, he was another... not going to make that joke, but he said, fuck it. Because <laughs> <laughs> pales. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no, no, no. There's, um, there's a very said, similar nah, thing. Left too, so left too. <laughs> there's a very um there's a very similar scenario when you drive to California. You'll drive through border patrol checkpoints depending on what like how high up you are. And um you you will get checked when you cross into California for illegal produce because they, they're very in control of like how much produce comes in and out. Like they control that aspect of their economy very closely. Um, it's never happened to me, but you'll see some people got pulled over and they're looking for like pineapples and shit, like people smuggling produce yeah. out of the state. You're not, not supposed to do that. Really? My friend, uh, my friend. Was, I'm sure they're looking for certain groups of people as well, too. I, I was actually yeah. going to bring this up, um, but bring it sorry, up. go ahead. Bring it up. No, I was going to say oranges are also on the list was how I was going to end that sentence. <laughs> go ahead. Um, on uh, we, we were having like a long weekend or something. So we went to San Diego so driving from Tucson to San Diego, obviously you cross that checkpoint because you're More right along the border. Patrol. Yeah, and uh, the person driving was my friend Jaime, who is Mexican, believe it or not. And uh, we were driving through this line of cars, and the border patrol guy kept waving past. He was like, "Yeah, just go." Ahead. Every time he saw a white driver, um, and then he sees our car, and he he puts his hand up, and my friend Jaime he thinks he's just like waving to him. So he just waves and keeps driving <laughs> and like four border, border patrol agents, like reach for their guns and started running after us until we were, we were like shouting out to stop. And, uh, luckily they came to the window and they saw four know, white people in the car and they said, okay, you guys go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> but they did the family guy thing. Terrorist, terrorist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they pull up like the home Depot fucking yeah, yeah. paint color chart. That's crazy. And I said, okay, the average skin color in this car is white. You guys free to go. A lot of go. Yeah. Damn. So you were cha- you were chased by wait, San Diego. It was like five feet. It was he wasn't going that fast, but San Diego's on the border of Mexico, Ben. And so, so is Tucson. Well, Tucson's not Tucson's like two. Tucson's hours. not on the border, but yeah, it's, yeah. it's close. If you drive from that. Tucson to San Diego, you're like going along the US border. I didn't know that. To Mexico. That's kind of cool. That is kind of yeah. cool. Um did you did you like point out the window like hey look they're good they're <laughs> I, I have a story about someone in my family saying something on one of those trips that I will refrain from saying on the show, but like man, uh you you do drive like right there on the border. Oh, I can see where that would be going. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You see the type of joke. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm looking at the highways right now. There's like a highway that just literally. Uh, don't get Brian like... started on the highways, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> highways, brother. Brian, Dude, for, see, for, what is the, you know, the gross annual amount of riders that would ride from, say, uh, you know, I don't know, D.C. to Chicago? Uh, you know. <laughs> Brian, has, Brian has a thing about cars and highways and driving. And so when I bought. Uh, a a boat, <laughs> as he describes it, uh, he started talking to me less. <laughs> what? Because you bought a boat? <laughs> what? My, it's my car. My car big is very car. big. I have a I have a, I have a Honda Pilot. Um, so he, as soon as I bought that car, I stopped hearing from him. He's a big boy. He's a big <laughs> car. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know how much garbage I can do. pack in the back seat of my car, though? Yeah, broken window. Know how much window. McDonald's bags you can fit in this bad boy? There were two <laughs> McDonald's bags in my car this, today when I got out of the car. Only two. Two's not bad. I also had two things of unfinished Olive Garden. Uh, 
almost almost oh. a half a pizza. <laughs> that's a little bit bad. Okay, yeah. <laughs> that's a lot of food. <laughs> yeah, it was. I mean, it was like two days boogers old. on the ground in this uh, car. Yeah, that was that is the that is a booger floor car. Yeah. Okay. I, I threw a fat booger on. The, I I I almost got into an accident <laughs> because uh, I'm at my own fault. And I hey, I know. And I for I, for like five seconds I stress picked my nose and threw the boogers on the ground. <laughs> Until the blood was just gushing out of his nose. <laughs> oh, the cop, cop pulls him over and he's just <laughs> I was like, I was like <laughs> fucking nuts. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I do in the car too. <laughs> <laughs> On that note. I'll see y'all at Left 4 Dead. Uh, all right, see y'all at Left 4 Dead. Yeah, Wait, see, yeah. do you, whatever. Um, he doesn't like us very much. Yeah, he doesn't like talk, maybe Wait, talking so about my Wait, so with back to this boat situation, because mm-hmm. um, you just drove a shit ton this past weekend. I drove weekend, 33 right? hours this past four days. So what is your miles per gallon that you get on 22. that 22.0. Okay, that's better than how I many, thought it would be. How many dead kids per mile does it take for your lithium mines for your Tesla? I was driving, <laughs> speaking of that, I was driving through Ithaca College and I wanted to kill every child. I know people from Ithaca. I was going to maybe mention that in the show. Ithaca is you gorgeous. Kept going. Yeah, I know multiple people that went to school in Ithaca. And uh, what, what is the other school in upstate New York that my other friend went to? It's like Hobart. Hobart and something like you. No, I think um, that's what J.K. Rowling wrote. Oh, uh, <laughs> what? <Wait>. Hogwarts? <laughs> Is that the joke you're trying to make? <laughs> um, yeah, I'm actually just full of great jokes tonight. So. You're very, you're very, very you're always full of great jokes. You're probably the so funniest person I've tonight. I've known in real life. You okay, haven't I was met. Driving... Oh, that's true. I was going to say you haven't met. Ethan. Unironically, I was driving. You haven't met Ethan in real life, though. That's Not true. Yet. I, I I so I dro- I was driving through Ithaca. No, this is not even. This is I'm not even going to do the kids killing joke. I was driving through Ith- Ithaca College, and it was horribly made. That like the streets are oh, all Ithaca like this. College is, yeah, 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 yeah. And I Go was on, so I, I I I was I did, it wanted me to take a, a left on a street that was very busy. So I was like, okay, I'll just take a right when I get the chance, and then I'll like figure it out from there. Yeah. So I, it says, oh, take a right on this street, and I so I take the right up the the street, and there's a and it's a two lane street. But it, there's cars parked all the way up where it says no parking, and then a fucking fire truck staring down at me, moving. What is up with you and trucks, man? And there's nothing up with me and trucks, dude. It's not even my fault. This one isn't even my fault. Don't do that. You didn't even start the fire. <laughs> I'm just saying the past two weird parking related stories you have involved some kind of truck blocking you, dude. Yeah, it was weird. It was really annoying, and so I had to like, and on this busy street, I had to somehow I had to like manage. I had to like was it sirens on? No, it was just driving down the street. Driving no, down this big okay, well, I would have played siren. No siren. No. That's chicken. Yeah. No <laughs> sirens. They got a backup for you. Yeah. They no. They <laughs> they were so right in the way. It is incredible how how like the little spatial awareness that they had. That's coming from me. Um, <laughs> but that shit. No, that shit was fucking nuts. That, uh, that is my that camera shaking a lot. Yeah. You know, what, you, earthquake. Yeah, is, there, is there an earthquake? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um. Uh, uh, but I guess it's been three and a half hours at this point. Do you want to outro the show, David? Uh, thanks for oh, watching. Oh, we're still doing the show? Yeah. <laughs> I thought uh, you stopped recording when he left. Jesus Christ, I turned my camera off. I, t- I was no, taking I, down I thought, my lights as we were talking. I thought, you were fucking, I thought you were fucking around. I thought you were just doing something. No, I thought you ended it. No, I, I thought that was it. it. I did not end it, oh. no. It's a good thing I didn't say what we were supposed to say after the show. Yeah. What are we supposed to say? I'll do it. <laughs> you, you you don't you don't want that out there bud yeah. oh, okay I, I David, outro the show please thanks for watching uh regurgitate podcast episode 23 23 so, subscribe subscribe please to the to the regurgitated and reflux to the regurgitated and reflux channels channels <laughs> <laughs> can you read my cash app hashtag too